Hey there everybody and welcome to today's stream of Yu-Gi-Oh! That's right everyone, we're going to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 Tag Force Special and we are going to be doing some structure deck duels. So, these structure deck duels are the game structure decks, the, the decks that they put into the game already built in. Um, obviously some are complete copies of real life structure decks, some are complete copies of real life starter decks, but overall that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing some structure deck duels and I can't wait to show them off. So, I hope you're all ready. I know I'm ready for today. Let's see what happens. Now, I'm not going to start until 12 because I did say, uh, well, 12 my time. I did tell people I would start at 12, so there you go. But it's good to see you all today. Welcome, Rose Cuby, Corpse Kane, Lane Londa, Mark Gaming, Kyle Stacy, all of you. Thank you so much for coming today. Alexi Bear, Christian Pip, <laughs> Night Shroud. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I better work on my voice or else we're going to have a bad stream. Don't worry, I'll make my voice better. Night Shroud, welcome, welcome. I'm happy to see all of you guys. So yeah, let me let me see what I could do. What are you talking about? I hope there's five. This game goes up to Arc Five Tag Force Special. Why wouldn't there be our uh, five D's ones and Zexel decks? Like this, this game has all the structure decks you can imagine that go up to Arc Five early. Probably just Zexel now that I think about it. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see. No, there's like forty of them, guys. Like forty-three of them. We got a big we got a big day today. Yep. Structure decks. Yes, yeah, structure decks. That's literally exactly as you see fit. Dragon's Roar, um Zombie Madness, god what other ones were there. Um Zombie Worlds, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're actually called. But um I don't know if there was a Dark World deck, I'm sorry. I don't know if that one existed by this time period or if it exists in this game. I mean, we could, we could go take a peek. I, I, I'll i show you guys the structured X. I mean, it's not even a problem. But you know what? Let's wait till a few more people show up. We just started. But yeah. Ah, oh, colds do suck. But don't worry. At least uh, for, uh, you know, for this, you could just sit back, relax, and uh, hopefully eat some soup. Soup is good for that. Just drink some water. You'll be good. I got water myself right here. It's all ready to go. Uh, let's see. Well, there's still going to be some busted cards, Alexi Bear. I'm not going to lie. There, there are definitely going to be some busted cards. Um, I've seen some of these structure decks, and they are pretty crazy. I'm doing great, Roscoe. Thank you very much for asking. Um, now let me find out. What do I want to see in today's tournament? So, some characters will just take the place of the structure decks, because today it's more about which structure deck is the best. It's going to be weird to see what happens, but we'll, we'll find out. Uh, how much of pain? I did not construct the structure decks. The structure decks are already built. I can show you that. Watch this. Um, whenever you pick a character, um, there's some sections where you could choose what deck the character uses. So let's say, randomly, Tristan Taylor. You just go over to... Oh. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, this is it. It's in Japanese. Shit. Hmm... Okay, well, Cooper made a big mistake and can't read Japanese. So, what we're going to do today is something kind of interesting. I have 10 minutes to make 40 structure decks. Yay! <laughs> Watch this. Alright, it's okay. I know a strat. This is going to work. So basically, this is what we do. We go to deck edit. You guys can watch me do this for once. Trust me, it's interesting. <laughs> Oh man, I didn't know that they'd be in Japanese. That's uh, that's gonna suck. But don't worry. So you go over here, you go over to the English ones, and look, we got starter deck Yugi. So then we click load this recipe, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, we're gonna save recipe, and then we go through our 200 decks and we start deleting stuff. So let's see, we've made a lot of decks over the years. So let's go down to uh number one four four you know what we're gonna need more deck space than that let's start off with uh decks we don't use decks we don't use um we're gonna go up to let's say camula and we'll start deleting from here all right so there we made a deck the game has the decks we're making the decks and then we're gonna go over here we go over to starter deck joey or st structure deck joey and then we go save and this is something I must do now. <laughs> I can't believe the game literally left him in Japanese. Like, I guess the person that, that did the editing did not have it changed in time. So, i never seen this as a problem before. It's never actually come up, which is why I'm, like, caught off guard midstream. But we're going to make it happen. 
So, you think I could do this in nine minutes? Oh boy. Oh, I gotta move faster if I wanna do this in nine minutes. So, let's go ahead and work faster. So, how are your guys' day going? Because mine just started very interestingly. I'll say that for free. <laughs> My day just started with a very interesting little caveat here. It's a good thing I started doing this early because we'd be in some trouble if I did not. We would be in some trouble. I swear, I even tested these decks. I just didn't know that they didn't pop out like that. Uh, 43 decks to be exact. <laughs> 43 decks to be exact. So, yes, don't worry. As long as I do them in order and never forget one that I've already done, this shouldn't take that long. All right. Look at that. Save recipe. Then you go down. There we go. Look at all these decks we've made over time. Spyro Reignited Trilogy. That's a fun game. I did the whole thing when it first came out. That was a good time. Alright, sorry you bell, you're dead. Alright, then we go over to load. Yep, you gotta use Tag Force 7. This is the only game where I could have everything, obviously. Every other thing, I'd have to build the decks myself, and I ain't about that. What the hell? I already done that a million times. Alright, Yugi Deck, Volume 2. Oh, you made it, Greed. You know what? I think everybody is here early today. According to how messed up this is, I think everyone is here early today, as far as I'm concerned. Oh boy. Alright, let's see here. Get rid of that deck. We already have our Supreme one anyway, so we're good to go. Then we go over here. And... Oh, whoops, not save recipe. You guys gotta help me here. Gotta make sure I'm keeping this in the loop. I'm gonna be so busy right now, you have no idea. You guys are watching me do grunt work, work basically. But you have to watch. It's part of the, it's part of the fun. Alright, so we're on Joey number two. There we go. Save that recipe. This is Tag Force 7, of course. This is why you could see all the deck edits and stuff that I've done in the past. A lot of these are really old deck edits. That's why I'm willing to delete these, because they were from a from a different time. You know, not, not something we need to keep. There we go. And then let's go ahead and load a new recipe. And let's see here. What else? Are, oh, shit. I skipped over it. Uh, Kaiba would be next. Yes. A Kaiba deck. And let's go over here, speed on through. I gotta start remembering the number I'm on just so I can move faster. We're on 169. Haha, <laughs> that'll be easy to remember. Alright, so let's go ahead and load up the next one. Look how- thank god I got this game working at 60 frames now. I can't even imagine trying to do this not in 60 frames. That would suck so much. Oh yeah, we got the Merrick Structure deck, the one from real life. Yeah, this is the Merrick Structure deck from real life. I even tested to see the cards. It has a side deck, but the side deck doesn't matter. It's the real cards in the real one. Alright, we're at 169. Sorry, Abitos the third. I don't think I need you anymore anyway, because I have a different uh, deck already for you. Um, yeah, I know. PPSS PP is awesome, being able to just do this kind of stuff. Um, let's see. We're on Dragon's Roar. We've made it to Dragon's Roar. We're out of the starter and structure decks, or the reloaded decks, whatever you want to call them. And there we go. Uh, 160, 160. Alright, sorry, Dark Magician Girl. I already have another deck for you somewhere else, so it's fine. We didn't actually lose Dark Magician Girl. No, no, we're not losing anyone today. We have decks for everyone already on a different section, just in case. So, we're good to go there. Uh, we've made it to Zombie Madness, everybody. We've made it to Zombie Madness. I'll probably have Camula play as Zombie. You know what? Help me out here today. We're going to see who plays who. I'm going to have Camula play Zombie Madness today. I think that would be a good idea. Dragons Roar, I'll give that one to Night Shroud. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, what's after that one? We got Blaze of Destruction. Mm. Don't really have a fire deck user. I guess Axel. I can use Axel Brody for that. Alright, Axel Brody will take on the fire deck for us. You just gotta, you gotta help me remember during the actual tournament itself. Wherever the hell this deck is. Alright, look at that. Thank God I could put it in English by doing this. This would be impossible if I couldn't do this. Like, legitimately impossible. We would be we would be stuck. Alright, next is Fury from the Deep. That's Mako Tsunami. I don't care what anyone says. That's Mako. Alright, let's see here. We, we already do Tag Force 6 in English, yeah. We already do that. It's a good time. In fact, I'm doing a Let's Play. I'm still continuing the Let's Play of it on my channel. You know, if you're interested in watching that. It's on my YouTube channel, not my Twitch channel. 
Yeah, Tark 5, uh, you say fully patched, but Sweet Life of Dio, we just found out it's not fully patched, because we found a section that was in Japanese that kind of is the reason why we're doing all this nonsense right now. Alright, let's see, we are on... Warrior's Triumph. Warrior's Triumph could go to a lot of people, technically. I could technically give it to Joey, I could give it to... There's, there's a lot of characters I can give Warrior's Triumph to. I'll let you guys decide which one you like, and then I'll probably ignore you and still do the one I want. <laughs> it sounds so mean when I say it out loud. Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and load recipe again. Let's see what we're up to now. We are up to... The Spellcaster's Judgment, which that one should be easy. I can just give that to Yugi. Honestly, that could go straight to Yugi. Oh, although Yugi's going to be playing a lot today. Is there another Spellcaster person we know? Like, at all? Is there another Spellcaster person that could be playing this this Spellcaster deck? Oh, it does have Dark Magician. It probably should just be Yugi. Screw it if he, like, triple, quadruple, quintuple dips. Oh, Taya's already going to have a deck to use today. She doesn't even... She doesn't need that one, trust me. There's another deck she could be playing as. Uh, let's see. We are now on Invincible Fortress. That could be Jim Crocodile Cook, for all I know. That's a rock deck. So we could give that to Jim. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. We got ourselves... Get rid of Leo's de old deck. That was an old one. We don't even need that one anymore. That was for uh, the Fortune Cup tournament way back when. Does anyone here... Was anyone here around for the Fortune Cup tournament? How old are you people? On, compared to my channel. Uh, Sigmorph, Bird of Divinity. I can give this deck to Jasmine. Jasmine uses a Winged Beast deck. There we go. Oh, Arturo. Arturo's doing great. Me and him are going to be playing some uh, Let's Play That I Can't Spoil Yet. We're going to be playing a Let's Play That I Can't Spoil Yet on Friday. It's going to be a great time. Yeah. We got a, we got a good old co-op Let's Play coming at you. Four-player co-op, nonetheless. You guys are going to love it. All right, let's see here. Of course, I'm still. It's gonna take me a long time to build that let's play up. We like to do it weeks in advance, so you're not gonna find out for a while. My Valentine could use that, but I think Maya's got other decks too. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll make a decision on that later. So our deck right now. Ooh, it's so fast. All right, we are on Dinosaur's Rage. That's Tyranno Hassleberry. Easy, easy, so easy. Is this an all AI tournament? Um, obvious. Yes, we do AI tournaments on Thursdays and Saturdays. That is correct. AI tournaments. I rarely do a human tournament. Like very rarely. Like Dynasty series was the last time I did that. And then what else? Before Dynasty series, I used to do human uh, a human series with 2006 World Tournament. Rex. Well, Rex Raptor could do it. The problem is Rex Raptor doesn't exist in this game. He's fake. I had to make Rex Raptor. Doesn't mean I won't use him, just means that uh, it'd be easier for the other guy. Oh, this guy's easy. We'll give that one to Crowler. Look at this, Machiner's Revolution. This is the worst structure deck. Guys, Machiner's Revolution is the worst structure deck. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses, that's some good exposure. That was a co-op series. Well, depends on which one you watched. Um, I did one way back in the day, and then I did a co-op one of Duels of the Roses with eight people. It was a great time, and we all dueled each other like crazy. It was my friend Miguel's favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! series. He said that's what he told me. He said that was his favorite one. Ah, uh, good times. Good times. I like to look back on some of those old videos and just be like, yep, that's when me and my friends were happy. Surge of Radiance. This is a deck I can give to Taya since it's a fairy deck. Alright. Good old Surge of Radiance. Oh god, I'm running out of deck space. I'm gonna have to start deleting decks I actually care about. <laughs> I'll still make room, guys. Uh, Nothing to worry about. I can make room. Alright. We are now on Curse of Darkness. I don't really know. What's a... What's a dark deck user? There's a lot of them, but what... Panic? <laughs> no, no. Someone better. Who should I use for a dark deck? I mean, I could use... I'm just thinking people from Dual Monsters and GX because that's my time period. But maybe you guys know better people from Zexel and 5Ds that uh, could fit these darkness decks. All right, Titan. Titan's not bad. Titan's not bad. Bones already has a deck for it, in my mind, that he can use. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, I went way too fast. We are now on... Let's see... Revival of the Great Dragon. The hell kind of deck is this? 
Has anyone ever used Revival of the Great Dragon Structure Deck? Or whatever it's called in, in real life. Because I'll tell you right now, I have no idea what it is. Like, that's... that's. I think I may have used it once in the 5Ds game, but like... I don't know what it does. I don't know what its job is. I just... I, I don't know. You guys can tell me what, you, what it's actually supposed to do. Alright, let's see. Because usually Structure Decks have a purpose. They're not just there. Uh, we are now on Advent, Advent of the Emperor. This looks like a... Oh, it's a Monarch deck. Wow, there's a Monarch stru- Is there a Monarch Structure deck in real life that I never knew about? Is there a Monarch Structure deck? I need to know. Fans in chat, help me out here. If there's a Monarch Structure deck, walk me through Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Because I'm not a part of it. I stopped after 5D- uh, Well, after GX is when I stopped pl uh, playing the card game. So, Structure decks are out of my head. I only know the old ones. There is, really? There's two of them now. Okay, wow. Two of them, really? All right, let's see. Next, we're on Undead World. That one I might give to Bones. I might give this one to Bones. And this one I I, I do know because I remember, like, even after I was done playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, I remember seeing it in shops and being like, oh, that is really cool. Because it would look, look like Red Eyes. And it was Red Eyes in the end. It was a zombie Red Eyes, which is cool. All right. Yeah, there is a Light Sworn Structure deck in this game. That is correct. Uh, let's see over here. The next structure deck that will be... In hey, good. This is a good way for me to show you what structure decks are going to be in the tournament. Everyone, this is Lord of the Magician. Another magician structure deck, but this one's all about spell counters. Do you guys remember a spell counter character in the in the show that's in this game? Maybe from 5D, Zexel, Arc 5, I wouldn't know. GX, Dual Monsters. Someone that used spell counters. Because I know, I'm sure Yugi did, but, like, I don't, I, I don't know. I know Reyna does, yeah, but that's a, that's a page three character. We don't care about her. Okay, maybe we do, but not as much as we should. Not as much as we should. All right, we're on Warrior Strike. I don't know this deck at all. Does anyone know what the Warrior Strike structure deck is? Does anyone, um, anyone know what that one's about? It looked like, I actually didn't notice most of those cards. Like, they look like cards I don't know about. They're off my radar. Gemini. Oh, they're Geminis. They're warrior Geminis. Gotcha. Geminis. I guess Geminis were pretty new at the time, so that makes sense. Let's see. What are we on now? We are on Ma Machiner's Command. Oh, it's a Machina deck. I can give that to, what, like Bruno or something? Bruno can fit a Machina deck. Maybe not in this game, but screw it. It'll work. We'll make it work. All right. We're running out of uh, deck space for our structure decks, but I feel like we've done a lot now. So, next structure deck we're going to get is... Oh, I'm in the wrong section. Is... Right after the Machina deck. Yeah, Machiner's Command. We're in Dragoonities. Ooh. Dragoonity Dive. I know none of our main characters used a Dragoonity deck. I fought Dragoonity decks in real life when I was a young player. Well, I came back to the game, but I never, like, bought cards. I just used my old deck against my friend's new decks, and this was one of them at the time. And it kicked my butt. It 100% kicked my butt. Dragoonities are scary. Alright, now let's see. Ooh, me, me. <laughs> no, the person that uses Dragoonities in this game is called Daisy. Daisy uses Dragoonities. So, the next deck we are on... Oh, wow, there was one. Is Lost Sanctuary. Oh, I know who could play this deck. What was that one Zexel girl? Uh, I just played her. Katori. I played her in the Zexel game. I, I think that's on the channel already. Yeah, Katori could definitely play this card. Uh, play this deck. 100%. This deck is really scary. Alright. Well, now that you guys are getting a little peek at all the structure decks and stuff, which one do you think is going to win today? Because we're going to find out which is the best one, guaranteed. That That's happening today. We're going to find out which is the best of the best. Um, right now, we are on... Oh, shit. I skipped a few. Um, we are on Lost Sanctuary. Nope, Devil's Gate. Ooh, yep, there it is. <clears throat> There's our problematic Dark Worlds. Dark Worlds are going to be really good. If you like Dark Worlds, the structure deck is in this game. <clears throat> oh yeah, that deck is terrible. Machinist Revolution is going to lose. Sorry, Crowler. I'm going to give you that deck and you're going to lose. Uh, such a terrible deck. I struggled so much in that one game to beat the game with it. All right, Dragonic Legacy. More dragon structure decks. That one has dad in it? What the hell? Why does this one have dad in it? Who made this? <laughs> Who made this? 
Is that okay? Is this structure deck going to ruin my tournament? I, I don't know if this structure deck is going to ruin my tournament. We'll see what happens. Dark World's just got another structure deck? My god. My god. Alright, let's see here. We are... <coughs> oh, my voice. We're on Roar of the Sea Emperor. Oh, god. You know what? Out of respect, I can give that deck to um, Mindy. I can give Roar of the Sea Emperor to Mindy, but I know those are Atlanteans and stuff like that. I should know. My friend had this structure deck when I came back to duel people for fun. Uh, Shark could use it too. You're right. You're right. Shark 100% can use that deck. I'm down for that. Let's let Shark do it. Um, the next structure deck after that one is... Onslaught of the Fire Kings. Oh, God. Shuzo. Anyone but Shuzo, but there it is. I'm deleting really old decks. Like, these decks I made during... Um, God, what? how many turns tournaments? Whenever the Fortune Cup was, it was that era of tournaments. Whenever I threw the Fortune Cup tournament. If you look up on YouTube Fortune Cup tournament... It was probably almost a year ago, given how long it's been. I think it's been almost a year. All right, the next deck is, uh, let's see, we're all the way on this one. We're on the Blue Eyes Descent. Oh, we're giving that to Kaiba. There's a Blue Eyes Structure deck. All right, we got a Blue Eyes deck, everybody. A Blue Eyes deck. Oh, boy. Looks like Kaiba gets to play with the rest of the class. Alright, what's your favorite old school structure deck? Oh, shit, that's tough. Uh, for me, I think it was Dragon's Roar because it was a Red Eyes, Red Eyes Darkness Dragon structure deck. I really did enjoy that. Um, but I understand that there are more. I'm looking at more right now. But yeah, no, I'd probably still have to go with Dragon's Roar. That was my like one of my first ever structure decks. It was awesome. Might have been my first structure deck. Alright, we got Mech Light Dragons. That looks like Cyber Dragons, so we're going to give that one to good old Zany. So mech like dragons, remember to give that to Zane. I'll probably forget. It's up to you guys in chat to remember. All right, let's see here. We're done deleting decks. Now I'm on to the point where I'm almost out of deck space. But we're, we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. Uh, are the AIs worse at playing outside of their archetypes? We'll find out today because I, I actually don't know. I have no clue. Um, let's see here. They don't even seem to know how to play. To, they don't even know how to play their own archetype. So Hero Strike. Oh, that's a Jaden deck right there. There is a Jaden structure deck. I didn't know that. Oh, well, it's called Hero Strike, so maybe it's not Jaden, but just a Hero structure deck, and then you know you just may, I'll make Jaden use it. <laughs> All right, so we got heroes. That's good. And then we're gonna go. We're almost done, guys. Actually, I I did see the end of it. So oh shit, I skipped it. Yeah, I did see the end of it. So we are now at. Synchron Extreme. I will give that to Yusei. Yusei gets Synchron Extreme. 100% going to Yusei. Alright. There we go. No Destiny Hero Structure Deck? Not that I see. I didn't, I didn't see a Destiny Hero Structure Deck. Did you guys see a Destiny Hero Structure Deck? Oh, did I not load this one? Huh. One second, I don't know if this loaded. Let me go let me go take a peek at our decks. It's better to do this right the first time. I did load it. Okay, I did. We're good, we're good. I just need to make sure. You don't want to mess this up. Trust me. I want the I want the actual tournament to go well. This start this start is something we have to live with, but the tournament should go well. So let's see what's up next. All this cause I can't read Japanese. I wish I could just read Japanese. That'd make things way easier. Alright, so now we're on this thing. I don't know what this is. It's a Constellar deck, but we're using it. Alright? Even if it's just a game structure deck and not for, like, a real structure deck, we're using it. Constellars. If this is a real structure deck, you let me know, because then I'll... Because we're way out of my time period. Like, none of my friends would use these cards, even when we dueled for fun. Because there's a section of this game that, that has all these structure decks, but they're in Japanese. And it doesn't tell me what's what, so I wouldn't be able to read it. The only reason we're remaking, remaking the decks right now is because I can't read Japanese. <laughs> Alright, Dark Returner. There we go. I think you might have missed the beginning of this stream. Go back to the beginning of the stream to find out why we can't re uh, why we needed to read Japanese. <laughs> Alright, we're right there. 
Now we're going to go ahead and get into load. We're almost there. So it's not a uh, structure deck we got in the TCG. Good, good. Yep, there was an Evil Swarm one. That's right. Uh, let's see what else we got. We have... This was the Evil Swarm one. Okay, we have gear... A machine one, Gear Gianos. I think that's someone I can give to the Thumb, right? The Thumb likes that deck. He uses Gear Gianos, at least. Right? Yeah, I'm right. I don't care what you guys say. Bronk, that's his name. <laughs> the Thumb, that's right. He knows what he's doing. And that, that nickname is out of respect. It's not disrespect. I like him. He's grown on me. All right, we're going into Light Swarms. All right, we now have Light Swarm deck. You know who's getting that one. You know for sure who's getting the Light Swarm one. And now... Yep, Light Swarms go to Blair. I don't think there's any other character that used it, so I know Blair didn't use it in the show, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that they, she used it in Attack Force 3. Alright, let's see over here. We have made it to Memories of Duelist Kingdom. I did include this one, so we're going to use it. Alright, if you like Duelist Kingdom, there you go. It's in the it's in the tournament. Oh yeah, it's probably going to get wrecked, but it's there. It's probably going to get wrecked. Alright, and there's two more I allowed. Memories of Duelist Kingdom, Memories of... Oh, whoops, wrong section. Um, let's see... Memories of Battle City. There we go. Some Battle City cards. Almost done, folks. Almost done. And then one final deck. We are on the last deck, everybody. The final... I'm going to give Grandpa the Memories of Duel's Kingdom. Grandpa's getting the Memories of Duel's Kingdom. Unless I forget. But he should get it. And then finally, the last uh, deck that we're going to allow in this. If I could find it. Memories of the Ceremonial Battle, the final fight in the entire uh, show. Yugi versus Yugi. And there we go. We are ready to start our tournament for the day. So, thank you all for your patience. Um, that's uh, That was very kind of you to be that patient. Let's go ahead and go over here. Our first duel is going to be between... <clears throat> Synchron Extreme and Merrick Edition. So we're going to have a duel between Merrick Structure Deck and the first ever starter deck from 5Ds, which is uh, going to be played by Yusei. So let's go ahead and get these characters together. Synchron Extreme from Yusei and our buddy. So going over here, we're going to go over to this section. We're going to find Synchron Extreme. Oh, my oh, wait. Can you guys see me? I had a little bit of a I had a little bit of a disconnect there, but it's not too bad. It might be a little laggy, but it'll kick back in. Just give it a second. <laughs> Today's gonna be a weird one, guys. Today is clearly gonna be a weird one. Oh, where's Synchron Extreme? Ah, there it is. Synchron Extreme. There we go. And then we're gonna need Merrick because Merrick plays his Merrick deck. All right, we're ready to go, everybody. We got the Merrick deck all ready to go. So, let's get uh, put on a show. Merrick is right here, and we're ready to go. Let's do this, everyone. The first duel of our tournament, only 15 minutes late, exactly. It's going to be uh, Merrick versus Yusei. Synchron Extreme versus Merrick Structure Deck. Let's see how it goes. All right, we have a set, set pass with stum. Oh god, it has stumbling in Merrick's deck. That's gonna be annoying. I obviously didn't take any cards out of the structure deck, so what they have, they have. The structure decks are pre-made. Um, we'll see what happens. It looks like Yusei started with his Speed Warrior, and we have Lakunga. What God said no? Really? All right, ever no one has God said no in YouTube, do they? God said no in chat. Find a way to do it. <laughs> Find a way for that to happen. And there we go. We have ourselves a Drilago, which, honestly, that could go right through the opponent if it needs to. There we go. And we got Synchron Explorer, which doesn't do a damn thing. Plague Spreader Zombie? That deck comes with Plague Spreader? Tuning Wear? What the hell? What kind of monster is he making? Excel Synchron. Okay. But why? But why? What are you going to make with Excel Synchron? All right, well, we got Imperial Iron, Iron Waltz, so cards can no longer be banished. 
Looks like Merrick feels confident enough to put his monster in attack mode. Although I will say most structure decks have like MST, Heavy Storm, all that nonsense in it. Giant True Nate at least, something like that. Reckless Greed, Merrick, you're getting a little too crazy here. There's no reason to go Reckless Greeding right now. We have a bunch of set cards, nothing wrong with that. Yusei needs to figure out if he's going to Synchro Summon into Stardust or whatever. Actually, I don't know what this deck even has. It might not even have Stardust. What the hell? Does anyone know what the Synchron uh, Explorer Starter deck has? Does anyone know what that deck even has? I, I have no clue. Renegade's uh, Plague Spread Removal Effect. Oh, God. Oh, Speed Warrior's dead. All right. Come on, Merrick. Why is Yusei playing so passively against you? You gotta have another strategy. Technically, he had an extra deck of four, not three. One of them's on the field. All right, for speed, we're gonna go ahead and do a little fast forwarding just to figure out what the hell these guys plan on doing. Is literally Stumbling gonna break the game? Because Stumbling has done this before where the enemies just don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh as long as that card's on the field. I thought maybe there was a chance it did not matter because Yusei did a Synchro Summon, but at this point, it does look like it matters. This is as fast as it goes, guys. I'm pressing fast forward. Okay, wait, there we go. There we go. He's doing something. Hold up. Scrap Iron Statue. Okay, what is that supposed to do? Oh, you get... Okay, he broke Stumbling. There we go. There we go. We're going to go ahead and do this. We got the Junk Warrior. Junk Warrior is a damn good monster. And with Junk Warrior, it's going to sit... Whoa, level 10. Excel Synchro! We have an Excel Synchro, everybody. He's got the Stardust Warrior. All right. Excel Synchroing. I think uh, this is way out of Merrick's depth. He's His deck was not made for this time period. So he's in trouble. Nightmare Wheel! Okay. Okay, that's... uh. Merrick found a way. Oh, Scrap Iron Sc Statue will just stop it. Yep. Sorry, Merrick. You didn't really stop it. You just held it back for one turn. Nightmare Steel Cage. Of course. Why not? Jam Brady Machine is the worst play I've ever seen. Alright, whatever. If that's what he wants to do, I'm going into fast forward mode. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Coffin Cellar, when it tries to activate that freaking trap card, is going to stop it again. Oh, well, Merrick did some burn damage. I guess Scrap Iron Statue couldn't stop it. You think Merrick's going to take the L? I don't know. Yusei doesn't have many life points. I mean, granted, he just summoned a bunch of monsters. And that's it. Yusei's out of cards. Jet Warrior was his last monster. Yusei's officially out of cards. Jet Warrior activates its effect to try and bounce that card back and succeeds. Quibbled Hedgehog will continue to come back. There's nothing that can stop that. Malevolent Catastrophe gets rid of all the back row. Oh, crap. Junk Warrior comes back. What the hell? Merrick, you crazy bastard. I mean, this might work because you got rid of that stupid statue card, but at the same time, you lost everything. Merrick, what are you going to do? Great Keeper, Spear Soldier. Oh, God. Humanoid Slime. Oh, God. Why is that in attack mode? What are you doing, Merrick? Oh, because he got rid of the card that says no banishing. That's true. That is true. But he's got to be careful. That monster. These monsters have a lot of attack. Coffin Cellar is going to hurt you. Oh, no, not you. Only them. I forgot it's a different card that does that. And we have a special summon of White Dragon Wyvern Buster. I don't know what that... Or Burster. I don't know what that does. I have no clue what that does. Alright. Well, well, hopefully Merrick has some good defense because his opponent's going all in. Alright. Yusei's might be... Uh, might be winning this duel right now. Let's see. Merrick's got Cobra Jar for burn damage. He's holding himself down. It's not over yet, folks. It's not over yet. Merrick has one monster left to his name. And the Cobra Jar did a little bit of burn. But if Merrick doesn't get a little more burn, this duel's going to be over. And the Synchron Explorer deck will win. It doesn't look good, everybody. It doesn't look good. If you're a Merrick fan, you might as well go home. Oh, wait. You probably are home. Or at work. I don't know why you guys like watching my stuff at work. Oh, Mirror Force is going to be too late to the party. He was going to get it. He was going to get it. Mer okay, Merrick, you just died. He would have died anyway. Merrick did not have the life points to survive three attacks. And just like that, everybody, Yusei and his starter deck are going to be moving forward. At least the Synchron starter deck. So let's go ahead and move this forward. Going over here, we're going to go ahead and move Synchrons forward. The next duel is going to be between Hero Strike, which is going to be Jaden Yuki. He's using a hero deck. And Jaden Yuki will be going up against Lost Sanctuary, which I'll probably give to Taya. Because I want to. 
Oh wait, unless is Lost Sanctuary the fairy? Uh, not, uh, there's one that's fairies. I think this one might be the other one. Is this the one I give to what's her name? You guys need to help me here. Is this the one I give to Katori? If it's not, then whatever. But we'll see. Now, looking for this hero deck. I forgot where the decks are. I knew where they were on the other one, but now that we've made them, it's kind of like reverse. So I got to... Oh, wait, no, I found it. You say moving forward. Now we got to see Lost Sanctuary, which uh, I think this is Katori too. I don't know. I don't know these structure decks. At least that one's out of my time period. So the odds are good that it's that it's the right one. Yeah, Katori. I wanted her to use the agent, the agent structure deck, obviously. Since that's what she uses in this game. Yeah, yeah, I think this is it. This is hers. Alright, guys, let's go ahead and get this duel started. We have Katori versus Jaden. Main female character versus main male character. Alright, so Katori with her agents are going to start the duel. Let's see how she plans on starting. Just a set, set pass. Everyone's got to be basic at first. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not here to judge. Uh, he's going to do reinforcements of the army to get himself an elemental hero Stratos and an emergency call to get himself a bubble man. Interesting choice. Unless he has Polly in his hand. Foolish Burial will throw away something called uh, Shadow Mist, which is going to give him an alias. Okay. He has Neospatians in that deck too. Alright. This uh, Stratos is going to give him a TT. Good, good, good. At least we're gaining something here. Um, and we're going to get Heat. Oh, he runs Heat in that deck. Interesting. Pot of Duality. He's going to get Wing Karibo. Necro Shade or Mass Charge. Wing Karibo. You know what? You gotta love the classics. I'm not gonna judge him for that. Well, Katori, it's a completely open field thanks to TT. You might as well go hit him. No, you don't want to? If you drew terrible, terrible monsters? Okay. Okay. And there we go. Wing Karibo is gonna get Mass Change. That's right. Wing Karibo evolved into Mass Hero Koga. And Concentrated or Consecrated Light is dead. Just like that. Good old Jaden and his uh, structure deck hero strike is going in. But Katori did pull off Sanctuary in the Sky, which could be really good for the agents, depending on what she gets. Koga being dead sucks for Jaden, but he still has a big beater monster and elemental hero alias, which that'll, or Neos alias, that'll do the job. So Katori, what are you going to do about this? You got Celestial Transformation to special summon a monster with half its... Oh my god, you had Honest the whole time. Oh my god, you killed your own Honest. Why? Why? Holy shit, she's dumb. That was... That was probably one of the worst plays. Shining Angel, this is not a good play either. I I don't know why. If you had Honest, you could have killed Alias a long time ago. Nova Sum... Oh! Air Knight Parsha. With a Century in the Sky combo. Yep, you could summon that. But now what? Yeah, Air Knight Parsha is a level 5 that barely ties with freaking Alias here. And now he's just going to crash. Yeah, what's the point? And he has Honest! Of course! Jaden has Honest! How could I forget that? There we go. Alright, well, we got a set card. The cops are coming, but they ain't gonna find me. Don't worry about that. They never do. Call of the Haunted's coming through. Call of the Haunted brings back Stratos. A really good choice there. Uh, yeah, this ain't gonna go too well. Blade Edge, if he really wants to go for it, he could. Uh, Mass Change, let's see what he's gonna turn into. He's got himself Divine Wind. Uh, he's got Bubble Man. Oh, side tribute for freaking... Blade Edge. Oh, Katori Top Deck Marshmallow. Now Blade Edge is looking kind of good, huh? <laughs> Alright, well, he could still win the duel with Blade Edge. Legitimately, just that one monster will win him the duel. And Katori has bought herself maybe one or two turns. Uh, this is not outside of her archetype. This is her archetype. This is the deck, almost the same deck she uses. The only difference is no United We Stand. Oh, wait, no. Marshmallow on no damage because of the fairy. Yeah, it's a fairy type. You're right, you're right. Just like that, she found a way to stall for time. So now it's all up to Jaden summoning one of those monsters with an foul. Oh, fuck me. He, he did it. Jaden did it. You all thought this would be a stall? Look at that. And there we go. Most of her life points are gone and he could just do it again. And this is going to be the end of the duel, guys. Marshall Law could try to do its job, but Jaden can just summon freaking... Uh, Oh, don't summon Stratos. You already know what this card's going to be. Summon Neospatian. Okay, well, his brain is uh, not as good as ours. It, it, it just doesn't work as well. So, we'll see what they end up doing. Honestly, I don't... Yeah, that's not going to do a damn thing. <clears throat> Jane takes a thousand, but next turn he has exactly what he, what he needs. 
All right, Katori. It was a nice duel while it lasted. Not really. She got her ass wrecked, but still. Let's go ahead and get rid of that card. Blade Edge, get rid of that card. And finally, win with Divine Wind. And just like that, everybody, the hero deck will be moving forward. The agent deck is out of here. So, looking at our decks, the next one going up is my favorite structure deck. Uh, if this would load. Looks like we have a bit of an issue here, but we'll see. There we go. Uh, my favorite structure deck, Dragon's Roar versus uh, Lightning Star, which... I know nothing about Lightning Star. That might be an in-game structure deck, but we'll see how it goes. Um, for sure, Dragon's Roar, I'm going to give that one to Atticus or Night Shroud, because that's, that's his thing. He's Darkness Dragon, so... Yeah, there we go. And then... Oh, you think Hero should be banned? That's not even close to the scariest deck in this freaking series. If you guys saw me putting the structure decks, then you know the Hero deck wasn't even that scary. There was way scarier decks. All right, Dragon's Roar is my favorite, so I hope it does well. Granted, it's going up against this deck, so I'm going to give this deck, since I don't know who it would go to, to because uh, I don't even know what the deck is, <clears throat> to our most uh, friendly guy. His name is uh, Zombie Master. He knows what he's doing. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this duel started. Thank you all for your patience. Let's get going. Dragon's Roar versus Lightning Star. Hopefully, Lightning Star is not scary. I don't know what Dipper is, guys. I, I like we talking Gravity Falls. <laughs> All right, we got a set there. No mana, <clears throat> no mana cross out is a good start. It's Constellars, Constellars. Oh, constellations. Got it. Got it. All right. Well, we got swords. MST could pop the swords. Nope. Constellar Meteor instead. Constellar Meteor chains off of it, and I don't even know what it did, but swords will last. Dipper is from Mark V. Uh, what's his Japanese name? Because obviously they don't call him Dipper in this game. Oh, Arm Dragon level 5 with Stamping Destruction. There we go. I freaking love the Dragon's Roar deck. It's so much fun. I'm, I'm sad it doesn't have Arm Dragon level 7, but it is super fun. Yeah, Dipper is not what they call him in this game. So you got to remember his Japanese name. It's the only way. All right, 1400 damage. There we go. Oh, is he Haruto? Or something like that? I've seen the Owl House, yes. Not the newest season, but I've watched Owl House. I think it's a very fun show. Hakuto, yeah. Hakuto Matata. How could I forget? That would be his name. And these Kitsellers seem to be uh, fighting back, but they're not doing too well against the Dragon deck. Uh, however, this spell card might change things. And that spell card might change things. But you just get two cards back? That's cheating. And that spell card might change things. All right, well, we got Virgo at, oh god, 2300 attack on the field. That's really scary. Welcome, Roncor. Good to see you. Creature Swap! Oh! Dragon's Roar is too good. That deck is legitimately too good. What are you going to do against him? Granted, he's bricked. He hasn't summoned a monster in like 13 turns, but let's see what happens. All right, Constellar, there we go. We have three back row. I don't see any exceed monsters yet. We have a special summon of Cyber Dragon. Beckoning Light can bring back uh, Shining Angel. The fact that we stole the best car, that is not bad. And okay, Mass Dragon's pretty good too. Stamina Destruction's really good too for the burn damage when your opponent's that low on life points. Uh, this is going really, really well for uh, Dragon's Roar. Hell yeah, let's go Dragon's Roar Structure Deck. That's my deck right there. That's the one I would use. All right, there we go. Dimensional Alchemist, I don't know what it's really going to do. I mean, honestly, he might want his monster to die so he can get something better. Yeah, Twin Head Behemoth's in that deck. Why wouldn't you? Honestly, if he draws a monster, this duel's over. Nope, he didn't draw a monster. Yeah, that is a problem with Dragon's Roar. Doesn't really have that many monster cards to fall back on. Dimensional Alch Alchemist gets you back your monster card. I guess that's something. These old school dragons are doing the job, guys. They're doing the job. And there's Constellar Claw, a cause. And cause is going to destroy Twin Behemoth for two seconds. It comes back. 
Yeah, Twin Head Behemoth comes right back. One of the best effects to exist in Yu-Gi-Oh! Way back when. I don't know how it... It probably doesn't matter now, but back then it did. Reckless Greed because he's trying to go for game. And I guess he already has it. He doesn't need anything else. Twin Head Behemoth attacks for game. And that's it, everybody. My favorite structure deck, the original structure deck, Dragon's Roar, will be moving forward. That was good. Good for me, anyway. I'm happy to see that. All right. Dragon's Roar, move on forward. The next structure decks going at it will be Devil's Gate and the Blue Eyes Descent. So, obviously, we know who one of those characters is going to be. Uh, the other character, I will make just give it to Bakora or something. Who knows? Chicken Nuggets or Pizza? Chicken Nuggets. 100%. 100%. There's no, no question there. No questions to be asked on that one. Alright. Chicken Nuggets. Yeah. But where is this uh, Blue Eyes deck? Blue Eyes Descent for Kaiba. And then this evil deck called Devil's Roar. I'll probably give that to Bakora just because Bakora is evil. <laughs> I know, very, very simple reason. That's the only reason I got. Uh, devils, Devils, Devils. The hell is Devil's Roar? Up oh, there. Oh, Devil's Gate. Did I call it Devil's Roar by accident? Oh, yeah, I said Devil's Roar by accident. It's called Devil's Gate. I'm an idiot. All right, that's fine. That's probably because Dragon's Roar. I mixed it up together. So, let's go ahead and get this going, guys. Truman uses Dark Worlds, that's true, but he's a fake character. He doesn't exist in this game. I made him up. I made him up. I'm not looking 50 minutes to find his face in a sea of faces. Alright, so we got Kora going in with his set card for Devil's Gate. Kaiser Seahorse is a good start from good old Kaiba. Funny enough, he has none of his fusions in this deck. He has one Synchro Monster. It's kind of weird. That's what we saw anyway. Dark World Lightning is going to destroy that back row card. And he summons Snow, which just barely ties with Kaiser. Alright, Kaiser's tie is good and all, but here we're going to summon Alexandrite Dragon. Oh boy. Alexandrite Dragon's going to put Snow in the dirt, and then Kaiser Seahorse is going to go in there. Not bad. Monster Born on Main Phase 2 is terrible, but you know what? I'm used to terrible plays. There's nothing I can do about them. <coughs> so, we got a set there. The next card we're going to see is Shining Angel. That's pretty good. And that looks like a very fast duel for the Blue Eyes deck. Like, next turn, it's over. <coughs> like, I honestly, I don't see this going any other way. Like, I don't see this any other way. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was really easy. Tribute Summon, we're going to see the legendary Rabbit Dragon. Okay. We're having a Rabbit Dragon over for dinner, and that's going to be it, everybody. Rabbit Dragon's going to end the duel, and good old Seto Kaiba and his uh, Blue Eyes deck moves forward. Or whatever the structure deck's called. The Blue Eyes Descent. Alright, there he goes. The next duel will be Kaiba Edition Volume 1. Oh god, this deck sucks. I know, because I've, I've seen it multiple times. Alright, Kaiba's back. <laughs> Kaiba Edition Volume 1. And this deck is going up against... Oh god, what is it called? Uh, Undead World. That is one I would give to Bones. That's that's a Bones deck for me. Alright. That's one I give to Bones. Now, Bones is also a fake character. So, it's not so easy to find his face. But, I like Bones enough to make the effort for him. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get things started. We got the Undead World versus Seto Kaiba, Kaiba Edition. <laughs> Alright, let me go ahead and set this up really quick. I'm going to see if I can find some faces here. Bones, bones, bones. You're here somewhere. I know where you are. I made you. There we go. Alright, here we go guys. Kaiba round two? No, Kaiba's got a lot of decks, alright? He's got two star or starter deck, structure deck, whatever, I don't know. Two structure decks, and then he's got that one deck that we just used. Alright, well, we got the Vorse Raider, everybody, and Vorse Raider's going in against Deslacuda. Then we got the Shallow Grave, bringing back Deslacuda and Blue Eyes White Dragon. Interesting play, because now you've given Bones the ability to draw one card, and we'll see if that matters. This is my NFL. <laughs> basically, right? That's basically what we're doing. The World Tournament is going to be basically our Super Bowl. Alright, let's see what we got here. We're going to have a Summon of Lejin. And Bottomless is right there. 
There we go. We got some damage going in there. Pretty good. Pretty good damage. I'm respecting it. And then we got Gift of the Mystical Elf. There we go. Bad use for Bottomless. What do you mean? He got rid of Lejin. An 1800 beater. That's one of the best cards in the game. No, I'm joking. Yeah, he's in trouble. He's in some real trouble here. It looks like uh, good old Kaiba's in a very nice situation. He even had his old school card, Gift of the Mystical Elf. That's uh, not a good card, but it's fun to see him use it. All right. Now, looking at this, Kaiba's got an old man of extermination. Gets rid of the Tutan Mask or Tutan Mask. I don't know how to pronounce that. And we're going to see... Malevolent Mech, whatever the hell that is. I didn't even know. Okay. He could just summon a Malevolent Mech card like that. Um, definitely not strong enough to take on a blue eyes, so I don't think he has a good chance here. And we got this card to save your card, but at the same time, your life points aren't safe, so... There better be a reason. You better have, like, an equip spell or something. That'd be the only hope. I don't think... I don't think Bones is gonna win this one, guys. I think just summoning a flat blue eyes is just too strong. All right, Shadow Spell. That's another card from back in the day. There we go. Malevolent Mech destroys itself. Pot of Avarice comes in. And that is not good. That is not good. No traps and no zombie world. Okay. This is how you lose duels, everybody. It's Saggy. Saggy the Dark Clown kicks in. Vampire's Curse does come back later. And that's the end of the duel. All right, everybody. That's it. Kaiba is going to win yet again. He is the master of his own starter deck, basically, or structure deck, whatever they are. So let's go ahead and get back into these duels. Let's go see who's up next. Looking at our decks, Kaiba Edition 1 will move forward. The next deck will be Machiner's Command or the Machina deck used by Bruno versus Yugi Edition Volume 2. The Volume 2 deck I will give to Yami Yugi. Yami Yugi will get the Volume 2 deck. So, Machina's Command, we'll give that to Bruno. There we go. Kaiba's doing pretty good with these uh, pre-made decks, I gotta say. It's kind of making me upset <laughs> that he's doing so well with these decks, but he can't do well with his own. Uh, Machina, Machina, shit. I don't remember when the Machina deck came out. Oh, there it is, found it. I found it. <laughs> And now we're going to go ahead and go to Yugi Edition Volume 2. For Yugi Edition Volume 2, we're going to see how he could use this deck. Obviously, I don't think these volume decks are that good. I think Kaiba kind of lucked out there just having a big beater monster. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe these edition decks are going to be de decent. I just don't think they're going to be very good. It's only round one of the tournament. Anything can happen. There we go, everyone. We're ready to start. Bruno and his Machinas versus Zami Yugi and his Yugi Edition Volume 2. <laughs> it's so weird just to say, yeah, that's the Yugi Edition. Like, you got Yugi Starter Deck? I understand that. I grew up with that. But then you got this other one. Yeah, Dark Paladin Deck. That's right. There is one fusion monster in this deck, and it's Dark Paladin. And we have Swords to find out what Yugi was hiding. And we have Magic Jammer to not be a slow duel. Good job. He threw away Buster Blader. I kind of like that play. It's probably easier to summon it from the grave than it is from the hand. Ceasefire. Well, we're still flipping this up. And it only did... Oh, wow! Yugi had a normal monster, so it didn't even do that much. Dark Magician Girl comes in, but it cannot beat the Armored Cyburn. That sucks. Light Force Sworn is going to throw one of these cards away, the one he just drew, for like four turns. It's kind of crazy. Alright, Dark Magician Girl's got Monster Aborn to bring back the Bust of Blader! I was just talking about this! Easier to get him from the grave than anywhere else, but Compulsive put him back in the hand. Oh, uh, Dark Magician Girl, we need to throw a monster away. We need to throw a Dark Magician away. All right, Life Force Swarm will hold that card in the grave, or remove from play face down. We have a double tribute summon because she has to get, or he has to get through this freaking defense. And he did. He at least did. That Armored Cybern's gone. Life Force Swarm is still going to hold the card back, and he draws Machina Gear Frame. Machina Gear Frame is going to give him Machina Fortress. I wonder what he's about to do. Machina Fortress is going to special summon itself. And Machina Fortress, using its effect, will destroy Buster Blader. He had to do it. Buster Blader was too strong in attack points. But with Yugi already out of Monster Reborn, I don't think he's got a good comeback opportunity here. Yeah, he might be in a lot of danger. Unless that trap is God tier. Life Force Sworn is forced to give back the card that he threw away way back when. The attack comes through. Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, is dead. Dust Tornado comes through, and we're going to hit ourselves a time machine, which... 
That looks like Bandit Keith to me, but it's fine. Well, I've seen Buster Blader die multiple times today. It's kind of strange. And looks like Yugi, I was right. These are, Okay, that and Machina deck is really good. The Machina one is super freaking good. I remember, because I fought this in the 5Ds game. World Championship 2010, I believe. Maybe even 9, both. Who knows? All I know is that Yugi is not out of here! Wow! Pulling off a Karibo just to buy himself one more turn to draw his Mirror Force. As if he has a chance. Alright, so he drew a trap card, but what are the odds it's actually Mirror Force? My, I'm not, I'm not going to give him any odds on that. And it's Magic Cylinder! You know what? That's a great top deck too. He's still the king of games, but at the same time, it's not enough. Not with this level of deck difference, so here we go. Of course I'm going to play Lost Evolution one day. And yes, I already know it's been translated. I'm just not going to do it yet. I'm waiting to make sure the translation's completely finished. Let them do their patches before I get to it. Plus, I'm doing another Digimon game right now, so... And I'm doing another one that you guys don't even know about, so... I'm a little busy when it comes to Digimon. Alright, the next duel is going to be the Curse of Darkness deck versus the Kaiba Edition Volume 2 deck. Of course, Kaiba, the one who has not lost once in this tournament, is going to fight again. But this time with his Volume 2 deck. Who knows what's going to happen here. My guess, Kaiba's going to win. Because he's undefeated. He didn't come to this tournament to start losing. And then we have the Curse of Darkness deck. I'll give that to Titan. I'll give that one to Titan. Why not? Oh, Volume Tunes where he has XYZ Dragon Cannon? That's really cool. I love the XYZ Dragon Cannon. I think that's great. Alright, let's see here. Shit. Curse of Darkness. Oh, it's probably one of the earlier decks. It is one of the earlier decks. There we go. I was like, I can't find it. No, I was, uh, well, growing up, I watched Digimon more than I watched Pokemon, but, oh shit, I also had, yeah, I guess I was a Digimon kid. I had Digimon games before I even had my first Pokemon game, because I played Digimon on PlayStation 1. I didn't get Pokemon until I was 10 years old, so, shit, yeah, I played Digimon five years before I played Pokemon, but obviously Pokemon is a better game, Digimon just is more interesting. Pokemon's more fun to play with friends, though. I play that with my friends all the time. Alright, let's see. We got ourselves Giant Orc. There we go. Me and Rick even did Scarlet and Violet together. And Kaiba's uh, Edition 2 deck is going to let himself get attacked directly. Nope, Shadow Spell. Alright, well, you could have just Shadow Spelled in general and never wasted your other trap card, but I understand your brain's not very big, so... Nothing you could really do about that. The Giant Orc is dead. And no new monsters from Kaiba on his, main, on his second turn there. Uh, we got the Plague Wolf, which can double its attack. It's like Karate Man. And the Plague Wolf will destroy the Voice Raider at the cost of its own life. But, you know, if Kaiba's bricking, you might as well. And there we go! X-Head Cannon, the best one! Alright, X-Head Cannon is the start of the day. I love to see that card. So, Kaiba, let's hope you can get up. Oh, Axe Dragon Newt, it's too strong! X-Head Cannon bites the dust. Damn it. Well, hopefully he can draw another card. Dust Tornado gets rid of... Crush card virus. That could have been scary. And damn it, your monster can't beat 1200. Are you serious, Kaiba? Nobleman, what was it? You could have beat it! You idiot! You could have beat Axe Dragonoot! And you would have tied with the Malice Doll. Oh my god, you disappoint all your fans. They're right there in chat. I see chat right there. You're disappointing them, Kaiba. You're disappointing them. And he's bricked. And he's bricked. That's it. That's it. Just kill him. Alright, so Kaiba Edition 2 is dead. He gets to keep Edition 1, and he gets to keep uh, that other Blue Eyes deck, the structured one. That's our Kaiba. That's the Kaiba we know and love. The one that sucks the... That's our guy right there. So let's go ahead and move on into the tournament. Let's see who's up next. Curse of Darkness with Titan. We'll get to move forward. The next duel is Roar of the Sea Emperor versus Spellcaster's Judgment. Roar of the Sea Emperor. Alright. Let me go ahead and figure this one out. Uh, yeah. Figuring it out right now, folks. Give it to a Shizu? Maybe I will. Maybe out of respect, I'll give it to a Shizu. All right. 
right, a Shizu. Here you go. We got a we got a spellcaster structure deck. I need someone to use. It's gonna be you. Spellcaster's judgment. Wherever the hell a Shizu's hiding. There she is. All right, now I just need the deck. This is one of the earlier decks that even I used to have way way back when I was a kid. So this should be a fun duel. Not really. That 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 roar of the sea emperor is gonna be really good. It does have Dark Magician, and now, uh, now Ishizu does. There we go. Yugi has like five decks in this tournament, guys. We're not going to give him another one. Alright, we got Spell Absorption. That's a good start, especially for Spellcaster decks. And let's see what Mindy's got. Mindy's got uh, Water Hazard. Spell Absorption will heal off of that. Water Hazard will activate. Water Hazard will not activate. And Ishizu will heal off of that. And now we have Atlantean Marksman with 1400 attack. It easily destroys the Apprentice Magician, which wants to die, so that we can get Magician of Faith. That way, if you set up a trap card, Magician of Faith can get us MST and we can pop said trap card. Oh, we got Gemini Elf, a good beater monster. We got Call of the Haunted for Apprentice Magician. I would have gotten MST by now because now you're kind of walking into a trap. And no traps to be had. I guess freaking Ashizu knows more than I do. Spellcaster's Judgment is going ham. All right, we got ourselves Atlantean Pikeman, a card I've used. Aqua Jet making it super strong at 2,400 attack, putting Gemini Elf in a terrible, terrible situation. Yeah, that, that card's really good. <laughs> We're in some trouble here. All right, Shizu fans, don't, uh, don't despair. We just got to wait for a good trap card. And there goes Apprentice Magician, which we want to see die, so we can bring out uh, Magician of Faith, of course. Hopefully you get a good spell card with that. We'll see. And we have Ebon Magician Kuran, which is not a great card, but uh, yeah, Snowman Eater, oh boy. Yeah, not a great card indeed, you just died. Well, at least you're going to get some spell cards back, that's the good news. The bad news is, who cares, you're about to die. Magician of Faith brings back the MST, I don't think there's any other spells in there. So you better use that MST. We have a Tribute Summon, and we have Poseida, or Poseidra, the strongest card in that deck, the card that's on the structure deck. The boss monster has been summoned. Skill Dark is here, but it needs three spell counters to matter. There's one. <gasps> Chaos Sorcerer! No way! You gotta be kidding me! She got Chaos Sorcerer? The enemy boss monster is dead. Are you joking? What the hell? The old school deck's doing... Nope, Dark Hole. Nope, Dark Hole. That was, uh... Goddamn. God damn. All right. That Dark Hole switches it all aback. Mindy is now back in control. Ashizu may have the life point. Oh, are we going to go aggressive, Ashizu, for once? Thank you. Oh, Sukiyo, you dumb character. All right, so apparently that card doesn't matter. Yeah, we already know that that wasn't going to work. Oh, crap. Well, until you draw a real monster, you're stuck. And she's not drawing a real monster. Mindy's in the same situation. She lost her boss. Nightmare Penguin! Oh, crap. Tsukiyomi does not want to work against that card. The Deep Diver! Oh, no. Ashizu, thank God you healed, because you're going to start taking some damage. Especially since you can't draw a monster to save your life. Because whatever you do, don't put that Nightmare Penguin back in the face-down position. I swear to God. All right, good. You chose the Diver. Oh, Mystic Box. Kind of a weird choice to do that. Um, I know the Spirit Monster's effect does help you, but... You should have at least attacked the opponent's 1,000 defense point monster. Oh, 1,100. Never mind. Never mind. You're good. My bad. I I, I apologize. I thought it said 1,000. I didn't read the 1,100. That's on my... That's on me. All right. So, looking at this, uh, looks like... Ooh, Mythical Beast Cerberus. That's one of the better spell counter cards. I used that way back in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Beginning of Destiny Season 2. When I re-beat the game with Chumley as my partner. Uh, okay, Atlantean Dragoons. That's 1,800 attack. That's way too much. Not good. Not good. Shizu is kind of struggling here. We got Tsukiyomi to put it face down defensive. Oh, that's so annoying. A living Book of Moon is super annoying. Alright. Well, Mindy, you're running out of cards too, it seems. Okay, you at least drew a monster, and, you know, Shizu's still looking for hers. So she's forced to play defensively as well. Penguin Soldier, are you kidding me? This deck has Penguin Soldier for the infinite loop and Arm Sea Hunter. 1800 damage coming on in. All right, looks like the duel is tied, but the opponent is stronger. Oh wait, we could just do this. God damn it. Oh, 
swords, you know what? That's nice and all to heal yourself, but I don't think your opponent's going to do much to you anyway. What, she going to penguin soldier you? Yeah, there it is. You got to kill that penguin soldier, Ashizu, or Mindy's going to win this. Premature Burial brings back Gemini Elf. You know what? That's not bad to get penguin soldiered, so that's fine. And Gemini Elf goes in. Knowing it was Penguin Soldier, she didn't even summon a monster, which was really smart. And then she summons Gemini Elf. There we go. We have a good beater monster from the Spellcaster deck. Mindy might be in a little bit of trouble, even though she's using a pretty busted deck, all things considered. But Pot of Avarice can turn things right around. We'll see. We have the Field Spell, if she has the back row card. If she has it, this could be it. Deep Sea Diva. That could be really bad, too, because it special summons Atlantean Attack Squad. And that monster at level 2 has 2,400 attack. That's some bullshit. Heavy Storm! You gotta be kidding me! Heavy Storm! Magical Dimension does not... Oh my god, get wrecked! Get absolutely wrecked! Holy crap! Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Sukiyomi put her face down. And there we go. Sadly, no damage will be dealt, but guess what? Mindy is top decking at this point. Oh, man. Oh, Abyss Soldier! What a top deck! That's a hell of a comeback card right there. White Magician Bikaru is cute, but she ain't gonna do a damn thing. I'll tell you that. This child is dead. All these children. Oh, my God damn it! You have Lightning Vortex? Yeah, it's insane! Go, White Magician Pikaru! You can do it! I believe in you! <laughs> and Atlantean Pikeman beats it. Yep, that is true. But you know what beats Atlantean Pikeman? The card in Ashizu's hand. That's been here the entire goddamn duel. And it's Tsukiyomi. And Tsukiyomi is going to go ahead and flip her face down. And then... Oh my god, these, why is this one so close? She's wide open, so it's all up to Mindy drawing a beater monster. No monster! Okay, this is Ashizu's only chance. She needs to draw a different monster. Still only has Tsukiyomi. Holy crap. She needs a monster other than Tsukiyomi to do damage. No, that just goes back face down. What are you doing? You need a monster. Tribute summon. Fine. Chaos Command Magician. That's a good one. That is a good one. That car could stop the Maneater bug. <laughs> Which actually mattered in my 2006 series if you watched me play with my friends. Alright, and Mindy plays one final monster card. Will Ashizu be able to draw another monster to do damage? She will not. And the Atlantean Dragoons is dead. Oh, she did. Is it another Tsukiyomi? I, I highly doubt that. Oh, Warrior of Atlantis. Oh yeah, you already lost our... Oh, it's Royal Magical Library. You gotta be kidding me. Holy crap, Mindy's so low on life points. One monster drawn could end this duel. Just like that. <laughs> Skill Dark is one of the best monsters you could have drawn. Chaos Command goes in. 500 damage. Mindy's life points are in danger. The original Spellcaster deck wins the duel. <laughs> there we go, everybody. There we go. Moving on in our tournament will be Spellcaster's Judgment. Taking out the roar of the Sea Emperor. The next duel will be Pegasus at Volume 1. God, you guys don't want to know how bad this deck is. Holy crap, is it ass. Like, this deck is beyond garbage. He might have, like, one or two tomb, tomb worlds in it. And then the rest of it is just as gar much garbage. as it, It's just so bad. It's just so bad. Alright? I love Pegasus. I bought his starter deck as a kid because it had Relinquished. It was so cool. But, goddamn. And he's going up against Lord of the Magician. Okay. Lord of the Magician? Who's in our Spellcaster user? Let me see here. I'll get you. A, I'll get you another person. Whoo! Oh man, that was stressful. That last duel was really good, so I'm 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 a little bit on cooldown mode right now. Let's see here, Lord of the Magician. This one is going to get. Actually, I don't really know any other spellcaster duels other than Yugi. Like, if I'm being honest with you. I just, I just don't know what counts as spellcasters nowadays. So, I guess I'll just be kind, and I'll just give it to the little Yugs. Yeah, I'll let little, little, little Yugi be the Lord of Magicians. So, Lord of Magicians, when does that structure deck pop up? That one pops up... Around the same time as... Shit, I can't find it. 
Is it called Lord of the Magicians or am I crazy? It's Lord of the Magician. Okay. I found it. It's right next to Undead World. Got it. Got it, everybody. Let's go. Let's go. This is it. Pegasus with his almost just a starter deck, but it's not like that. It's something else, but still. We're going to see some really old school tunes today. Granted, he might have Bickery Box, and that makes me happy, but we'll see. Defender the Mag Magical Knight. Yeah, this is more the spell counter deck. Miss Body. Yay. An invincible defender. Pegasus uses Toon World. Wow, he actually drew his one Toon World and plays Toon Alligator. And then Tribute Summons for Toon Summon Skull. Wow. That is literally the only po great... That is amazing. That is the best start he could have had. Because Pegasus, no lie, has like one or two Toon Worlds in that deck. And he drew one. And he started with a combo to summon Toon Summon Skull, one of the only good Toon Monsters from back in the day. Holy shit. <laughs> this man stands a chance because he happened to draw the perfect combo? Are you kidding me? There's no way Pegasus is going to win this duel. That'd be absolute bullshit. I would call bullshit on this. That, that is no way. There's no way he had the perfect draw. Come on. He was never going to get through Mist Body, so this is th this is insane. Oh, wait. There we go. Mythical Beast Cerberus. There we go. Pitch Black War uh, Power Stone. That'll give Cerberus some power. He just needs a little more. Apprentice. There we go. He needs one more spell card to activate, and he can defeat the tune. And make... That's fucking Mage Power. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. 5,400 damage. As much love as I want to give Pegasus for trying, the duel is over. I told you guys. I told you. There was no way that man was going to win this duel. That thing with mage power is way too good. I thought the AI didn't know how to use that card. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? What the? I've never in my life seen an AI use the card Change of Heart. In my entire life. In any Tag Force game, I have never seen them use Change of Heart. And I have proof. Because in previous tournaments, I gave Bakora three change of hearts, and he never used them. Oh, okay. Back into action, everybody. Pegasus pulls off a miracle victory by doing something no other AI has done. He uses the card change of heart. I, 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 I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm completely stunned. I, they don't, the AI is not programmed to use that card, and he did it. He, he outdid his own programming. Like, I'm not joking. They're not programmed to use that card. I've tried. They can't use Snatch Steel either. They just don't know how. But Pegasus figured it out. He found a way. I get... Uh, uh, what? <laughs> what? All right. Well, we're going to be moving on. We're going into... I'm sorry, guys. That was insane. We're going into Mech Light Dragons. Um, Mech Light Dragons is going to be fighting Memories of DK, which is Memories of Duel's Kingdom. I'm going to give Memories of Duel's Kingdom to Grandpa. Um, let's go ahead and see. So, Memory of Mech Light Dragons. Where are you hiding? There he is. All right. We got the Mech Light Dragons. And then we're going to use um, Grandpa for Memories of Duel's Kingdom. He's the oldest duelist we know. So, the oldest duelist alive anyway. So, we're going to go ahead and give it to him. Now, looking at this, Grandpa Memories of this. Holy shit. Yeah, that's like one of the last decks in the entire thing. Memories of Duel's Kingdom. Here we go, everybody. Thank you all for uh, your patience. We're going to go ahead and do Mech Light Dragons versus Memories of Duel's Kingdom. I have no clue. I have no clue. I've been told by multiple people, and I've had multiple examples where an AI refuses to use Change of Heart in a game-winning situation or a game-saving situation. That was the first time i ever seen it. Pegasus may, might be the only one that can use it. I don't know. 
All right, we got Cyber Dragon Dre to start the fight. Electromagnetic Turtle will not die because there are no worthless cards in Grandpa's deck. And we got the Mystic Box to give uh, his opponent the... Okay, wait, why give him the turtle if you don't have a monster to destroy? You know what? Grandpa's brain might be a little bit out there. Cyber Phoenix is here to protect machine monsters. Funny enough, Electromagnetic Turtle is a machine. So he gave him... Oh, there's Giant Soldier of Stone. See, that would have helped. And Waboku says no. You really don't want to draw a card, huh, Zane? You're just not into that? And we got double tribute summon for Cyber Dinosaur. Really? I thought you saved that in your hand for a special summon. But I guess noticing Grandpa's card, you're like, there's no way this old man's going to special summon anything. Heavy Storm. We're done with patience. No more pa Was that Mirror Force? I think he lost Mirror Force. I think I saw Mirror Force. Electromagnetic Turtle will stop the fight. All right. Well, this sucks to be a Grandpa fan. We got a tribute summon. That summon's going to be Curse of Dragon. You got to respect it, but it's not, not going to win him any fights. It's just... Well, it's not going to win him the duel. It's just going to help him a little. All right. Well, we got a set card. And Mirror Force is probably already in the grave. So Gramps is in a lot of trouble. Light Hex Seal's here. And we got Magical Hats. We're going to do this strat. Okay. Everybody, where's the magic? Everyone, mix it up. Mix it up. We got Burling, Burning Land in there. He's going to choose Cheater. How did you know? How did he know? AI cheated. Oh, Monster Reborn, is there anything good in the grave? I would have picked Reflect Bounder, honestly. I'm not even joking, I would have picked Reflect Bounder. Unless you have Polly and Gaia in your hand, Reflect Bounder. Alright, 100% cheater. Never respecting him again. Alright, we got Falcon B, or Beta. Hey, whoa, he's got two Cyber Dragons in his hand! Holy shit! If he draws Power Bond or Polymerization, this duel is over. I mean, it's already over, but damn. Alright, we got the Beaver Warrior. And for some reason, you played in attack mode. Eye of Truth. Evolution Burst. All right, we already know what's about to happen. Yep, Cyber Dragon. Grandpa has one turn left. Now, obviously, no one in this chat expected Duelist Kingdom to win any duels. Okay, right? No one did. All right, let's go ahead and let Zane Truesdale win the duel. What? Zane, it's trying to heal you. Stop! It's trying to heal you. You fool! You could have had 8,700, but you didn't want it. Alright, guys, that's gonna be it. Grandpa is out of here. Zane is moving forward. The structure deck of um, Mech Light Dragons shall move forward once this loads. We are now on to the final duel of round number one of our tournament of structure decks. Let's see what happens after this freaking loads. Do it! Damn it, challenge. Well, the next duel is gonna be Warrior Strike versus onslaught of the fire kings warrior strike i think i'm gonna give up and just give it to joey because he's the only real warrior guy i like at least he has a warrior deck in battle city but um the other deck onslaught of the fire king we're giving to shoes though since he actually runs that deck yeah i think that'll be right all right let's see here warriors hmm <clears throat> Warriors Strike. I'm having some trouble here. I might have misspelled the name. It's not actually called Warrior Strike, is it? Shit, what is it actually called? It's Warrior something. No, it is called Warrior Strike? Oh, shit. Then I better find it. Warrior Strike. Um... Uh, I'm not seeing it. If I'm being 100% honest, I'm not seeing it. So. Shit. What did I actually mean by what? You know what? I'm going to do a little check real quick. We're going to do a deck check real quick. Make sure I didn't miss it by accident. Um, We're going to deck edit real quick. We're going to find out. Warrior Strike has left the chat. I, I, look, they haven't. They're not at the venue yet. We have to get. We have to call them over. They went to get a bite to eat. Maybe they're in the bathroom. We're going to find them. Don't worry. We're going to find them. All right. Did I forget to save that loaded deck? Or did I just misspell a deck? But no, it doesn't, doesn't seem like me. Okay. I think I just forgot to save this deck. I don't know how, but it might have happened. I'm going to go. I'm saving it right now to, to make sure we have it guaranteed. Um... Yeah, okay, this deck I just forgot to save. 
This is one of the the only one we forgot to save. We're good. We're good. No, no, no. It was Warrior Strike. That is a structure deck. I just forgot to save it. We're good to go, guys. We're good to go. Warrior's Triumph is a different structure deck. That was one of the original Warrior structure decks. I know that one by heart. Trust me. I do know that one. Warrior Strike has arrived at the venue, everyone. They're ready for their first fights. We're going to put them on the big screen. The cops are coming. There's nothing I can do about it. All right. Onslaught of the Fire Kings. He's got Shuzo coming. And Shuzo is ready to go. Okay, guys. I'm about ready to start this duel. I hope you guys are too. It's time for Warrior Strike to take on the Onslaught of the Fire Kings. If you want my opinion, Fire Kings are busted. That's all you need to know. I couldn't beat them. My clown stand uh, stood zero chance against the freaking Fire King deck. So, I now, I now think they're very strong. We're going to see how this duel goes, though. Joey's going to play a set-set pass with his Warrior Strike deck. Shuzo's going to go ahead and summon the Duraku. What the hell? Gemini Summoner is going to stay alive. Apparently, it has the ability to survive. And then we have ourselves a Vocator Chevalier with Big Bang Shot. We also have Supervised to give it its ability already. Its ability is to throw away that card. Supervised gets it nothing. And there we go. Dragwaiba is dead. Uh, was I wrong? Are Fire Kings actually... Is the Fire King structure deck actually bad? Is that what's happening? Laval Lancelord. It has a lot of attack, but not as much as Mr. Big Bang Shot. And this Gemini card doesn't seem to die. Oh, Gemini Summoner uses its effect to Gemini Summon this card. Okay. And then we have a Tribute Summon for Divine Knight Ishark. Um, when this card ban it banishes monsters. Okay. Wow, Shuzo's dead. Holy crap, Joey. Like, my god. <laughs> the Warrior Strike deck's pretty good, huh, Roncor? Alright, well, we're going to use Raging Flame Strike to attack directly, but goddamn. <coughs> this, is, uh, this is pretty bad. Look, I would love to roast the structure decks after this, but I, I totally felt like Pegasus's deck should have been one of the things we'd be roasting, but I was wrong, apparently. And Big Bang Shot, he throws himself away to throw away the monster, and that's a GG! Warrior Strike is going forward! This is why we couldn't kick them out of the tournament. We had to keep them in the venue, because they're actually good. Warrior Strike shall move forward. Oh, shit, come on. Report the score already. Why does Cholange always have problems with this? This one's not my internet connection. This is literally just the website itself. I don't know why it has these kind of troubles. I wish they had better servers, but what are you going to do? And I even tried to throw them a bone. I gave them a couple bucks just to get them better, but they ain't going to be able to do it. All right, moving back into round two of the tournament. We are now going to do the Dark Returner deck versus the Synchron Extreme. If you liked Yusei's Excel Synchro deck, Guess what? He's going to do it again. He excels Synchroed against Merrick. Maybe he'll do it against good old Dark Returner. Whatever the hell that deck is. Alright. Synchron Extreme is chosen. Dark Returner. I actually don't know what that deck even is. Uh, I'm just going to pick someone that looks kind of evil. We'll give it to... We'll give Dark Returner to Merrick. <laughs> I know. You say versus Merrick twice, kind of. But no, it's fine. It's a completely different deck. Dark Returner. Definitely not a deck I know about, so I'm going to need help from fans here. Alright. I'm sure it'll be fine. This Synchro deck put freaking Merrick in the grave, but Merrick gets another chance because he has returned from the grave with his Dark Returner deck. We'll see how it goes, though. Ghoul with Appetite is terrible. I'm not giving anyone that deck, except maybe Johnny Steps. Johnny Steps can be ghoul with an appetite. Oh, this is... Whoops. Sorry, right, this is the one with the freaking uh, steel swarms. Okay, well, that's horrifying. I guess I could have given this to you, my sister, but I don't think it matters. All right, Starlight Junction. Starting the duel with tuning can be really good, especially if you throw away... Ooh, you threw away a monster. Starlight Junction is going to throw that card away to special summon quick draw synchron. Okay. And we got some back row cards. That's not bad. We have a Tribute Summon. We're going to summon Steel Swarm Moth. Steel Swarm Moth's effect. You pay a thousand, destroy two of these, or bounce two of these spells or traps. And you say uh, might be in a little bit of trouble here. Merrick might go for his revenge. Starlight Junction comes right back. Um, 
You say he doesn't seem to have any combo cards, so he's struggling just a little bit. Starlight Junction throws that card away. Brings out the Turbo Synchron, which doesn't do a damn thing, except die. Oh wait, Turbo Synchron's effect. Get wrecked! Oh! Having zero defense has screwed you over. I've never seen that play before. Oh, uh, we got Evil Swarm Thunderbird. And Thunderbird's going in and throwing that monster away. You know what? It wasn't that bad. That play from Yusei wasn't bad, but I don't think this is going to work out. These, uh, these swarms are coming in strong. Synchron Explorer can't explore a Synchron card like Drill Synchron. Uh, what are you going to make with Drill Synchron in this? Oh, you're not. You're going to throw it away. You're going to Special Summon Jet Synchron, which doesn't do a damn thing. You probably should have kept the Drill one. It might have made something compared to this. And we got ourselves Eva Swarm Azeroth, which gets us our first Exceed Summon of the tournament. Eva Swarm Alf... What? What? Offium. Offian. Offian's effect lets him get uh, Infestation Pandemic. And just like that, that monster is dead. That's a lot of damage, you say, just for a Jet Synchron. You better have some way to combo off of it. Uh, you have Night Beam, which is just an okay card. No? You say's failing his fans, everybody. You say is failing his fans. Evil Swarm Kirkion. Got himself Evil Swarm Thunderbird. Evil Swarm Kirkion's effect summons Evil Swarm Zahok. And just like that, the opponent is dying, dying, dying. Look at this. You say is out of card. Oh, level eater. That's a really good card. Yeah, no, looks like this Synchron deck is about to go into the grave. Whatever this card is, level five or higher monsters cannot be special summoned. Yeah, that Oh, you threw away scrap iron, you crazy bitch. <coughs> Yeah, if it's level fire or higher, you can't special summon, then you can't win the duel. That kind of says you lost the duels. So, you know, GG. Just like that, you say Fudo is out of here. The Synchron, uh, whatever structure deck is gone, or starter deck. And we'll take either. It did good in its first duel, but it cannot take on these evil swarms. The next duel is going to be the. Uh, Light Sworn Judgment, which will be played by Blair, versus the Machine Gear Troop thing, whatever that deck is. Let me see. Blair Flanagan, you get to use Light Sworns once again. You're going to be using Light Sworn Judgment. It's your favorite. It's probably not her favorite. She probably doesn't even know what this deck is, but she has to use it. Light Sworn Judgment. And then Machine Gear Troopers, I'll probably give that one to the Thumb. That's good old Tetsuo right there. Or Bronk, whatever you want to call him, yeah. Good old Thumb. And then we got Machine Gear Troopers. We are ready to go, everybody. Let's go ahead and see this duel. Um, I don't know how Blair's going to perform against good old the Thumb. The Thumb is a horrifying opponent. But we'll see what happens. No, there's another deck I'm giving to Crowler. It's the one with the uh, Gadgetron. It's the worst deck in the game. Alright, well, we're going to use Raime. Raime is a light monster with, uh, apparently titties. And it's dead. Yep. And Green Gadget comes in, which is just a solid-ass monster. Giving yourself a red gadget. There we go. 1,400 damage will be dealt, and Blair might be in a tiny bit of trouble. And then we got ourselves Blackwing Zephyros. So this card isn't just Light Swords, it has other cards. Rail Metal Morph will make Green Gadget actually strong enough. And just like that, that Metal Morph makes Green Gadget a beast. Next, we're going to go ahead and summon the Gear Gia Attacker, which has 1,900 attack. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I lost my voice. Oh, my God. Blair is out of here. Light. Oh, my. Limit of removal. Light Swarns. The fastest duel goes to the Thumb. The Thumb is the winner. That was the fastest duel of the tournament. All right. Four-turn victory. Maybe we should watch out for that thumb deck. Maybe he's got something going on. Alright. Hold up. It needs to load. While it's doing that, the next duel is going to be Joey Edition Volume 2. Do not get your hopes up about that one. Joey Edition Volume 2. But I do love Joey, so I'm happy just to see him in general. Um, but Joey is going to be taking on... Let's see... Uh, Hero Strike. Oh, God, Jaden. Damn it, Joey. You can't beat Jaden. It's not possible. He's a main character. You're only a side character or a buddy, a buddy character. At most, a fellow rival, but with respect. 
Alright, this isn't loading. Come on. There you go. The next duel. We got Jaden versus Joey. Let's see how it goes. Hero Strike is freaking insane, though. That's what I gotta say. And here we are, everybody. It's time for Joey versus Jaden. Jaden's gonna start this duel by doing uh, Summoner Monk. Jesus. That card could be very problematic. And does not have a spell card to use its effect with. Joey's gonna start this duel with Exiled Force. Eh, I would have saved that for a more important situation, but it's Joey. Question! Well, he was right about Exiled Force, but why? But why, though? Why would you activate question when you only have one card in the graveyard? That makes no sense at all to do what he just did. Alright, card trooper is there, and we got ourselves a swordsman of the land star, which, holy shit, this card beats something? <laughs> swordsman of the land star defeats the card trooper. I didn't think that would happen. And we got ourselves a reinforcements of the army. There we go. We have an E emergency call. That could be good, too. Jaden's hand is pretty stacked with monsters. We're going to summon Stratos to give ourselves another monster. Joey's Swordsman of Landstar. I'm sorry, but, you know, Skull Dice and other dice don't matter in here. But Fairy Box might. And you wasted it with Interdimensional. Why even Fairy Box if you're going to Interdimensional? See, you could have killed it. You could have killed it, Joey, but you... They don't know how to use that card, and yet it's, it seems to be in a lot of the starter structure decks. What a terrible play. But he's got... Jo oh! Oh, Joey Edition 2 has Jinzo? Holy shit! This is his late Battle City deck. Holy fuck! Jaden, you, uh... Oh, he got Polly! What is he making? Grand Mole and Neos? Alright, what are we making with that? We got Elemental Hero Gaia. That'll do it. That'll stop the problem. Alright, Jinzo's dead. It was good to see Jinzo while it lasted, but goddamn, that was horrifying. Fairy Box is going to cost him, and he needs to play a monster face-up attack mode like a man. Holy shit, that was ballsy, because he could lose the duel next turn. This is all about- this is- this is game. This will decide the game. It takes two lucky cards. He failed already. Alright, he could last one extra turn with one lucky flip. Yeah, he got it. Alright, he gets one extra turn. Make it count. And Sister Serpent comes back. Do you really want that card? I hope you have something better. This is your final turn. He summoned... Oh, shit. He's gonna die. Oh, boy. Joey Wheeler. Relying on luck is not his best uh, thing to do. All right. Elemental Hero Neos Alias comes right back. He's got to survive three attacks. Fairy Box and Kunai with Chain to put it in defense mode just in case. You can't take the risk. I understand. This one. Here we go. Failed. Immediately, he already, he already lost the duel. He's already lost the duel. Even if this fails, he already lost the duel. Yeah, or works, he already lost. Just like that, Joey Edition 2, despite having an awesome card, like, I love the cards in that deck, um, just can't handle the hero deck. The hero deck's too strong. Granted, it's going to be fighting some really hard opponents uh, starting round 3, so we'll see how it does. The next duel is going to be Warrior's Triumph versus Dragon's Roar. This is classic. Two structure decks from the same year going at it. Warrior Triumph and, uh, freaking... I'm gonna give this one to Joey as well. I love Joey. I freaking love Joey. You guys have no idea. I'll give Joey every deck if you guys start yelling at me. He just gets all of them. Alright, Warrior's Triumph. Where are you hiding from me? And then we need Dragon's Roar, which is Atticus. And you know what? I am very excited for this duel. This is gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be Red Eyes versus... The Cops. They're coming. No, it's going to be Red Eyes versus Warriors. The most classic of decks. Alright, here we go. If I could mix two structure decks... That, the hard part is I don't even know the structure decks very well. I only know the old school ones because I used to play the game in that time. Um, Dragon's War has to be one of them. And the second one would probably be the Spellcaster one. Those would be my two. The first ever spell, Spellcaster's Judgment, maybe? I don't know what it's called. The Spellcaster one. And it looks like we're going to start the duel a little weird for Atticus and his Dragon's Roar deck, my favorite structure deck. And then we got Marauding Captains. Oh my god, Joey starts with the lock. Are you kidding me? 
How do you start with the... I think there were only two marauding captains in that entire deck. Look. <laughs> like, I, I don't even know how he did that. There's only two in that deck. What is he doing? Why even play that monster in defense mode? Now he might beat it. You see what happens? Oh, God, you idiot. Oh, okay. Well, you're going to use this card anyway, so it didn't matter. This is a lot of damage. Holy shit. My favorite deck is losing. Joey, don't beat it, please. Please, your deck is too busted. The Warrior's Triumph is cheating. Night Shroud or Atticus is already down to freaking 3k life points. Joey hasn't even summoned a real monster yet. Premature Burial, make it 2200. Brings back the Mass Dragon, but what does that even give you? Yeah, a few more attack points. Who cares? You can't attack. You're locked. You got to get your Dark Hole. You got to get your Mirror Force. You got to get something. Oh, look, it's Sasuke. Sasuke Samurai. And there goes Mass Dragon, making Element Dragon too weak to take on freaking uh, Sasuke. That Twin Head Behemoth's here, though, but that makes no difference. Oh, boy! This isn't good. Okay, okay. Well, we can think about this. No, don't do that. Oh, you just killed yourself. All right, well, Night Shroud has decided death. My favorite deck is out. Damn it. With my favorite structure deck gone, I am very upset. And the card that he chooses is Gear Freed. You know what? You might as well choose Gear Freed. That's a hell of a beater. Why aren't you doing it? What the fuck? Is this just because you... Oh. Okay. Well, whatever. The duel's over either way. The winner is Joey Wheeler and the old school Warriors Triumph deck. One of the original six structure decks is moving forward. All right. The next duel will be another original six structure deck, Blaze of Destruction. The Blaze of Destruction uh, deck will be going up against the Blue Eyes Descent. Axel Brody will be using the Blaze of Destruction deck, whereas the Blue Eyes Descent will be used by none other than Seto Kaiba. Alright. I got the Blue Eyes Descent structure deck chosen. Now we just need to see if old school uh, fire deck can defeat brand new Blue Eyes deck. At least in this time period sense. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's see here. I can't. I still can't believe he, uh, Joey Star would double Marauding Captain. Like that deck only has two, and he gets both. That, that has to be cheating. Like I'm allowing it, but it has to be cheating. Well, guys, that's gonna go ahead and start. Well, let's go ahead and start the duel. I was almost gonna say that's it. Are you live on Twitch as well? No, I only stream on one at a time. Twitch, I stream on Saturdays. YouTube, I stream on Thursdays. That is how I do. All right. So let's go ahead and set set pass. Alexandrite Dragon goes in for 2,000 attack. UFO Turtle dies. UFO Turtle gets himself a new monster. And Solar Flare Dragon is a hell of a choice, especially if you can draw another one. And we have ourselves Dark Room of Nightmare, which is a great card. Tribute to the Doom, which is a great card. No, don't throw away Ultimate. Oh, wait, now it might be okay. No, bring back Ultimate Baseball Kid, you idiot. That card's amazing. Oh, shit. Blue Eyes is in some trouble. This was a crazy play by Axel. It took every card in his hand, but he made it happen. I still would have chosen Ultimate Baseball Kid, but screw me. And he does 800 burn. Holy crap. Blue Eyes get wrecked by the old school fire deck. And yeah, I'd play defensive too if I just went through that bull crap. But you're still getting attacked directly. Oh! Oh! And Molten Destruction! You gotta be kidding me! This guy's going crazy! He's at 2,600 damage! And goodbye, Flameville Guard! Goodbye! Oh, wait! There's a chance. Alexandrite Dragon will hold the field. Kaiba has to do something. UFO Turtle is willing to destroy itself in order to summon the ultimate baseball kid! He's going in with 1,000 damage. Kaiba doesn't stand a damn chance. And there's the burn. And there's the burn. And there's the burn. And there's the burn. GG! Oh my god! Blazing Destruction, everybody. The old school fire deck is really, really good. <laughs> Especially when Axel's playing it. My god, he did not even let that duel take any time. He just wrecked his opponent. That is how you play Yu-Gi-Oh, folks. The next duel is one of the original old school decks, uh, Zombie Madness and Invincible Fortress. Invisible Fortress is also kind of an old school structure deck. I remember it. That one will be used by Jim Crocodile Cook since it's a rock deck. 
I think Jimmy Boy will take a rock deck on pretty well. And then I need... Still looking for it. I need the other deck. Invincible Fortress, I know where you are. You and me, we got some words. Alright, and next is Zombie Madness, which I'm going to give to probably Camula, since I think it's a vampire deck. Camula loves her some vampires, so I think this works really well. Alright, Camula, Camula. Alright guys, let's go! OG Zombie Madness and uh, pretty OG freaking uh, Invincible Fortress going at it right now. In my opinion, I would say Invincible Fortress actually has a better chance of winning. Given how annoying those effects are, but we'll see. We'll see. The, maybe the zombies got something up their sleeve that I don't know about. Yes, Zombie Madness is Vampire Genesis. That is correct. Canyon kicks in, but Magic Jammer won't allow it. Throwing away Reload, you might as well. That's not even a card you need. Alright, we got Moai Interceptor Cannon, and we're going to flip it. I don't know why you didn't just set it. Oh, Ectoplasma. That's annoying. And all the face-down cards you could possibly want. So, four face-down, or four uh, back row. And Pot of Greed, hell of a top deck, Magic Drain, Ah, you lost your Pot of Greed. Damn, that's a loss, that's a big loss. Pyramid Turtle, that's a hell of a monster. And it's going in for 1200, Ultimate Offering, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Robin Goblin, oh, there's nothing to throw away. But still, Ectoplasma is gonna ruin the Pyramid Turtle. That's a damn shame. And we got ourselves Cryo Sphinx, which is about to die. Kind of a weird play, in my opinion. Ectoplasmer kills it. <laughs> I don't think the AI understands how to use Ectoplasmer. And Pyramid Turtle tributes for Vampire Lord, which uh, I don't think it's destruct. I think Ectoplasmer is tribute, not destruction. So I don't think uh, you're going to get it back. Yep, I'm afraid you're not going to get that Vampire Lord back. It has to be destroyed by effect, not by uh, by not by tribute. Yep, the, the Invincible Fortress is a Sphinx deck. And it has Exod, the immovable guard, or whatever he's called. This is a race to the bottom. Whoever gets more monsters and does more damage. It looks like Camula's winning that fight. Camula might win the race, everybody. Jim has one turn left. If he doesn't draw a monster, the duel's as good as over. And they're all top decking, I know. He draws the most useless card possible. Good. Camula draws... Double cost on, just like that. Camula will take the duel and the old school zombie madness, the very original zombie deck from the old days, will win the duel. All right, well, let's go ahead and move forward zombie madness. The next, nope, what is this? God, you're just having some trouble today, aren't you? The next duel is Joey Edition Volume 1, a deck we haven't seen yet, versus Kaiba Edition Volume 1. Oh god. Oh god, the rivalry will continue. <laughs> I bet you he doesn't. I don't think Kaiba sees it as, an all, uh, as a rivalry, but we'll see. Uh, we will see. Alright, Kaiba and Joey, both Edition Volume 1s. This should be interesting because this should be like Duelist Kingdom era cards. <laughs> Who knows if they're going to be any good here. But since they're finding each other, anything could happen. Yes, I think Time Wizard is in this deck. That is correct. Alright, Joey, let's see what you do with your Time Wizards. Kaiba, let's see what you do with your cards as well. Joey has two fusions. Kaiba has one with Blue Eyes Ultimate. We're going to set pass. Joey is going to summon the Goblin Attack Force with the Axe of Despair. Yeah, that's not the card I would put Axe of Despair on. Saggy the Dark Clown is dead. Kaiba is going to summon Rui Kishin Powered, an actual good beater monster from back in the day. Not bad, Kaiba, not bad. Joey Wheeler needs to find a way to beat that. Most of his tribute monsters can, but none of these monsters can't. Alright, let's see what he's got. Witch of the Black Forest is a really good card. Let's see what he chooses. Sangan, okay. Whatever you're into, Joey. I'm not here to judge. I'm going to judge, though. That was a bad play. Polymerization! He drew it! Natural baby dragon and alligator sword! Yeah! That card just barely beats the Rui Kishin power. No! Ring of Destruction! He actually pulled off a fusion, you piece of shit! 
Goblin Attack Force was uh, right after Duel's Kingdom, right before Battle City, right when he dueled. He, he got it by dueling Duke Devlin. Duke Devlin gave him a bunch of packs. Copycat. There's a good old school card. That's a good old school one. Alright, Copycat will copy this cat, but apparently it's not going to do a damn thing after that. Should have kept the Axe of Despair. Graceful Charity throws away two Blue Eyes cards. Shallow Grave will bring one back. Joey, you can't really beat Blue Eyes, like, even with your best monster, and Copycat's already been used, so... Yeah. I don't know about this one, Joey. I don't know about this one. Jinzo is great, but it can't beat Blue Eyes, so... Uh, Dust Tornado's nice, let's see what you get rid of. Dark Hole- Wow, he set Dark Hole like an idiot. Luminous Soldier? What the hell? I didn't even know he had that card. Alright, cool. I mean, Blue Eyes is going to murder it. But at least he did some damage before that happened. The original Legend of the Blue Eyes with Mega Morph? Oh! Wait, Kaiba messed up. He won't kill Joey immediately. He needed another monster. Alright, Joey, can you beat 1500 attack? Gear Freak! Yeah, never mind. He has Battle City cards here too. I don't know what Edition 1 even means. All I know is that he's doing it, guys. He's freaking doing it. Alright, Gear Free the Iron Knight is making a comeback. Joey's get Axe Raider, that's his Duel's Kingdom beater monster. Cyberstein, he didn't have enough life points! He had Cyberstein, but he had exactly 5k. He needed just like 100 more life points and he would have done it. Oh my god, Premature Burial brings back the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oh god. Oh god, and it's the one from the starter deck. Oh god, Joe, you can't beat Blue Eyes legitimately. You only got lucky against it last time, but this time... This time it's all over. Dark Hole! My man! He's doing it! Command Knight! Yes! Joey Wheeler barely staying in the duel. This duel is super freaking close. I'm sitting up. Holy shit, this duel is super close. What the hell? That monster can't attack anymore. He's out of cards! Joey! You just need a monster with 900 attack and you win this duel. Come on! Tribute Summon! Jinzo, no traps! What was the trap card? I need to know. It was Crush Card. Get it out of here. Guys, that's going to be it. Joey Wheeler takes out Seto Kaiba. Just like that. My man. <laughs> he freaking did it. Oh, that was a really close duel. Very back and forth. Really enjoyable. We even got to see a natural fusion happen. Oh, if he had 100 more life points, Blue Eyes Ultimate would have ended the duel. Immediately, if he had just had 100 more life points. Ooh, all right. Next duel will be Fury from the Deep, played by Mako Tsunami. That's right. That's one of the original six structure decks. That is, uh, that is the water one. Fury from the Deep. I remember that one. I actually used it a little bit. It was not bad. Um, let's see. And he's going up again. Oh, I skipped a duel. My bad. Yugi Edition one. I'm, I'm lying to you all. I'm lying to you all. It's actually Yugi Edition one. Little Yugs will be playing as Yugi Edition 1. Um, versus Machines Revolution, which is a terrible deck. Ignore everything I was saying before. None of that matters. We've seen all the Edition 1 decks except Yugi's Edition 1 deck, so we'll see how that goes. And Machines Revolution, I believe that's Crowler. This is the worst structure deck in existence. Like, 100% the worst. It bricks so often. And I know this from personal experience. So, let's go ahead and get this uh, structure deck duel started. We'll see how it goes. We got Yugi and his uh, starter deck, basically, or structure deck, whatever, edition one. Crowler's going to start the duel with a set set pass. Nothing wrong with that. He, I'm just happy he even got a monster. Gazelle, the king of the mythical beasts, is here. Is that his one fusion monster? Enemy controller's here to save his monster. Crowler has to save it. Because his deck is too full of tributes and bullcrap like that. He got Yellow Gadget out of luck. That is complete luck that he pulled that card. Um, and Cannon Soldier will do the job. Alright. Magic Cylinder! Get wrecked! Alright, Magic Cylinder is a hell of a start from Little Yugs. Eating up your Yellow Gadget was probably a bad idea, but you know what? You're full of them, so go ahead, Crowler. The next duel... Oh! Obnoxious Celtic Guardian! That could trade! Didn't have to, but you could. And Obnoxious Celtic Guardian goes for 14. That's really good. That's a fun card to use. We got Green Gadget again. Alright, Green Gadget. There we go. 
Again, not again, but, you know, we saw it in a previous duel. It's not willing to trade with Obnoxious. I would have. Beta the Magnet Warrior. Wow, we're really pulling off some old school cards now. The other two were old, but this one's old as well. They're all from the same time period, basically. And Crowler is about to lose this duel with the worst structure deck. 100%, 100% the worst structure deck in existence. Like, it does not get much worse than this. It's a cool card. Don't get me wrong. I love the... The ancient gears and all, and the gadgets, but it's just a terrible structure deck. And that is... That's it. Covering Fire ain't gonna do a damn thing. That is gonna be it, guys. It looks like Little Yugs and Edition 1 will be moving forward. Now, let's go ahead and move you there. The next duel is going to be Fury from the Deep versus Machiner's Command. Alright. Fury from the Deep. Mako Tsunami, you got a hell of a fight ahead of you. I'll tell you that for free. Uh, where is it? Yeah, Mako's gonna have to fight a hell of an opponent, guys. It's gonna suck to be him, trust me. The Freaky Fish Guy, that's right. The Machiner's Command. I don't remember. I think that's Bruno, right? I made him Bruno? I might have made him Bruno. Let's just assume it's Bruno, because my memory ain't too good. So many machiners and stuff like that. Yeah. We're going to go with Bruno on this one. All right, let's go ahead and go. It's Bruno versus Mako. Two blue-haired guys going at it. Fury from the Deep is one of the six original uh, structure decks to ever be created. I hope it wins. I want to see the OGs do good, because those are the ones I actually bought in real life way back when, when I was just a child. All right, he's got a Legendary Ocean. There we go. And he's got Seven Card Fish. That's a good beater monster. There we go. Commander Covington will bite the dust. That's one of the worst of the Machina cards. And then we got Kinetic Soldier, which uh, when it battles a warrior, gets stronger. But Shrink will make it win either way. So there we go. And we got ourselves Prohibition, which means Seven Card Fish is no longer allowed. And we have Tribe Infecting Virus, which is one of the best cards in that deck. I'm not even going to lie. Where a Metamorph will kill you, though, because you should have just used your effect. I always tell my friends that. You should have just used your effect. You can't play safe like this. All right. Scrap Recycler gets rid of Machina Fortress. There we go. It looks like Mako Tsunami does not know how to use this structure deck and is going to lose this duel. What game is this? We're, we're way into round two. We remove or play two water cards to summon the mighty Fenrir. And Fenrir will be tributed for Leviah Dragon Daedalus. Oh, God. That card is God tier. Leviah Dragon Daedalus, the mini boss monster of the deck, is going to take on the Scrap Recycler. Yep, that's a lot of cards, Mako. That's a lot of cards. And he blows up most of the field, but Ceasefire will do a thousand burn before that is able to happen. Mako is losing some life points, and he summons Mother Grizzly. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's doing it. Mako is doing it. He's making a comeback possible. He's going to go ahead and summon Star Boy. Yeah, there we go. Wait, what was that one show? Freaking Star Boy and the Captain of Outer Space. Anyone that gets that reference gets a dollar. Not from me, though. You have to go find it. All right, Machina uh, Sniper goes in. It will destroy Starboy, sadly. And we got ourselves another Mother Grizzly, because why the hell not? God, I can't believe the old school structure deck's making a comeback after all that. The Machina Fortress... We didn't see a Machina Fortress this time. There's only one card left. To he only could draw one card left. Water beats machines, you're right. He doesn't even have old school Umi, but it works. All right, here comes the attack for game, and that is it, everybody. Mako Tsunami, our freaky fish guy, and his structure deck, Fury from the Deep, will be moving forward. Just like that. Home movies, good job, number 09. You got it. That is the that is the reference. You win. <laughs> you win. Go find a dollar. Hey, Vidal Santos. <laughs> thank you. You gave it to the wrong person, but thank you. I appreciate it. 100% appreciate it. I really love those. That, I like having that show in the background. It's a nice chill-out show. I love Coach McGurk. He's the funniest guy ever. All right, guys. The next duel is going to be Advent of the Emperor. That's right. A Monarch deck versus Dragonic Legion. 
Funny enough, both of these characters would be considered page 3 characters, and I think I might let them use their page 3 characters. Or no wait, not Draconic Legion, I'm wrong. Draconic Legion's a different one. Alright, a dragon user, dragon user, dragon user. Dragon user, shit. You know what, Chaz hasn't gone to play today. I'm gonna make Chaz a dragon user. Alright, whatever this dragon deck is, it's for you, Chaz. Don't make me sad. Alright, Dragonic Legion has been chosen. Next, we got Advent of the Emperor, which is Koichiro. Yeah, he's the guy that likes to use those uh, Monarch cards. So, I'm gonna let him use them. And we're ready to go, guys. It's time for Chaz It Up and uh, Koichiro to go at it. Let's go. So we have the Emperor Structure Deck versus a Dragonic Structure Deck. I don't know what Dragonic Legion is. It's up to you guys to figure it out because I'm, I'm in the dark here. But we'll see. We're going to go ahead and set a card. Not bad. Not bad at all. We're going to play a field spell called Chaos Zone, of course. We're going to play Eclipse Wyvern. And Banisher of Light says we're going to start removing cards from play. That's pretty cruel. Banisher of Light gets tributed for Caius. And Caius will throw that card away. Yikes. Alright, 2400 damage. Our boy Chaz is already near death. That is not good. Chaz sets a card out of fear. And I feel the same fear, Chaz. And Noble Mana Cross Out means this duel is as good as over. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. This duel, <laughs> this duel is super over. Like, Chaz has one turn left to his name. This Monarch Structure deck is a beast. And might be a problem for this tournament. Alright, Vice Dragon is not going to save him. Well, if he has a tribute, maybe. He's got Light Pulsar Dragon at 2500 attack. Just enough to destroy Caius. Holy crap. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Alright. This game is called Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 Tag Force Special, otherwise known as Tag Force 7 by the fans. Alright, go ahead, Chaz. We're gonna go ahead and get into an attack. Good, good. Make some- Oh god, not burn! She has burn damage! Chaz has 200 life points! He may have the beater monster, but any burn will end this duel. Soul release, leave his monsters alone! Stop removing- Oh, isn't that good? What does that field spell do for him? Okay, we'll find out. He removes one, two, three, four, so, uh, five, six, and summons his opponent's Caius. Wow! That field spell actually came in handy. Holy crap. Banisher of Radiance is gone, and 2,500 damage is there. Jesus Christ. With 200 life points left, anything could happen to Chaz right now. Dimensional Fisher, honestly, that seems to help out Chaz the way he's playing with his deck. And if he draws a monster, that could end the duel. He did not draw a monster. If he had drawn a monster he could summon, he could have ended the duel, but instead he gives his opponent one more turn. This next turn will decide the entire duel. He plays Soul Exchange. He tributes summons. Monarch. Alright. He throws away the field spell, and he gets rid of one other card. Chaos Zone gets him Raikou. And now it's a tie. Two Monarchs standing face to face. And he's willing to crash, but why not summon Raikou? Oh, it doesn't have enough attack. I was going to say, Raikou doesn't have 500 attack. God damn it. Alright, Chaz, summon a monster and win. You have too many. Raikou can pop. God. Okay, you did 250. Just summon a monster with two... You had Lila. Okay, it's just summon Lila. And the structure deck, Dragonic Legion, has won the duel. With 200 life points, Chaz held on and destroyed the Monarchs. Holy crap. That was really close. <laughs> like, that was really freaking close. Alright. Dragonic Legion shall move forward. The next duel will be Dragoonity Drive, which is going to be played by Daisy versus Curse of Darkness, which... Did I give that one to Titan? I think I gave that one to Titan. I don't want to take it away from him. I might just let him keep it. Alright, we got Dragoonity Legion. A Dragoonity structure deck might actually be pretty good, so we'll see how she performs. I know Dragoonity cards have some pretty crazy combos, especially when they get their field spell. But Curse of Darkness, I don't really remember much about that. It won against uh, against Kaiba Edition Volume 2, so I guess it's something. But we'll see if it's any good. 
Curse of Darkness. There we go. Alright, here we go, guys. It's time for Daisy versus Titan. I'm very surprised that Chaz managed to pull off that duel with 200 life points. That Lady of Sailing of Flames almost ended it herself. But at the end of the day, he, full, he he just held on. He did what he had to do. And now we get to see Curse of Darkness Structure Deck or a Dragoonity Structure Deck. Which one do you guys think will go the farthest? Well, seeing as she started with her field spell, I'm going to say Dragoonity. MST, get wrecked. <laughs> Never mind. All right, Foolish Burial. Throw away another one. Why not? Oh, dra Red Eyes. Really? All right, Dragoonity Ducks. Ooh, Crush Card Virus. Oh. Whoa. All right, well, get wrecked. Titan, what are you going to do now? Titan just sets a card despite the open field. He doesn't feel like attacking. Kind of a weird play, in my opinion. I don't agree with it. Heavy Storm. Okay, Legacy of Yadagarasu. At least you get to draw a card. Heavy Storm will only hit one card now. Uh, Sylf oh, Stealth Bird does a thousand burn. Okay, okay. 700 burn. All right, 700 damage. At least Stealth Bird's doing something. Daisy's going to have to find another way to make a comeback now. Daisy is bricked. A lot of her monsters got sent to the grave. Stealth Bird will continue its burn. Um, yeah. I'll see you on Saturday, Amon. That'll be the big Zexel tournament. <laughs> Daisy's feeling starry-eyed. Yes, she is. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We got Dragoonity Militium. Militium? I don't know. At least it's a monster with beater attack, so Titan can't just beat it. The problem is, Titan's still burning Daisy to death. Daisy does not have many turns left. If Daisy doesn't get a monster with actual attack points out soon, it's over. Never mind, he messed up. Okay, that was a weird play. You don't Megamorph when you're not even going to destroy the... Don't, don't do that. Okay, granted, you might win the duel anyway. Because you only need one more turn of Stealth Bird to win. Is Titan about to win this duel by Stealth Bird? Is that how he did it? I think that's it. That's GG. Titan wins by Stealth Bird. Dragoonies are gone. I thought the Dragoonies structure deck might actually be good, but apparently not. Without the field spell, it's ass. And just like that, Titan moves forward with the Curse of Darkness deck. Alright. The next structure deck duel will be old school. We got Spellcaster's Judgment, the OG. And he's going to be taking on Revival of the Great Dragon. I I got no info on that one. Revival of the Great Dragon. Um Huh. I'm going to give this deck to Jack. We're going to give Revival of the Great Dragon to Jack. He likes dragon and fiends, but he's getting this one. Revival of the Great Dragon. What the hell is this deck? And then he's he's taking on Spellcaster's Judgment, which I'm going to give to uh, I'm going to give that one to Yami Yu. No, wait. We gave it to Shizu, right? We're going to give it to Shizu. She knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. She won the first duel, so she can go all the way. All right. There we go. Revival of the Great Dragon versus Spellcaster's Judgment. Zombie Dragon does not is not called Revival of the Great Dragon. I know the Zombie Dragon deck. We already saw it today. It got defeated already. Alright, let's see what we start with. We're going to have a Shizu start with a set, set, set pass. Not bad. Jackie Boy is going to go ahead and start the duel with one... Wow, that is bad. That's a bad start. We have a Tribute Summon to give us our Chaos Command Magician for 2400 attack. That's great. Uh, Malevolent Catastrophe destroys all spells and traps. Lost a lot of good ones, actually. Damn. That does suck. Uh, Lightning Vortex is a great card. No target, no problem. And we got Decoy Dragon. Weird choice. All right. Is that really the best card you could summon there, Jack Boy? Not the strongest dragon in the world. And in fact, we'll, uh, we'll die to rapid fire. Why aren't you attacking? Does he have a level 7 dragon in the grave that I did not see? Get oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. We're what what's going to happen here? 2k. Okay, he paid 2. Tyrant Dragon. Oh, that is a good monster. That monster is pretty safe when it comes to trap cards, so that is not a bad monster. My friend used to use it against me in real life way back in the day. I'm talking old school. Nightmare Steel Cage might buy you the turns you need to find a monster that can actually take out this card. But it looks like... Ooh, another 2k. What are we making this time? We're going to summon the Creator. Ooh. And we're going to summon Dark Blaze Dragon. Holy crap. What is this duel? This deck is insane. 
Skill Dark face up to try and get some spell counters on it. Might be a little too late for that, but we'll see. The creator's gonna get ourselves a majestic mech Goryu. Holy crap. And we have a tribute summon for... Fell Grand Dragon! That's the card on the pack for sure. Alright, well everybody, this field is stacked and uh, Shizu's dead, but she can still stand there and look, uh, look like she's trying. Chaos Command can come back, but all it can do is destroy Creator. Which is better than nothing, you might as well. Jack is pretty low on life points, but you're about to die in one turn. You are about to die in like one turn. Okay, you have a trap card, that's her only hope. Guys, this deck was busted, and it looks like it could go all the way. But let's see if uh, the final trap or monster cards can save her. Maybe not. Maybe not. Skill Dark dies. Magician of Faith dies, but what was thrown away? Nightmare? It would buy her some turns. Mass Dragon's all he's got left. Okay. Well, Shizu bought herself some turns, but will they matter? Can she do enough damage to Jack? Nightmare Steel Cage kicks in. She needs to find a way to do 1500 damage. That's it. What does Spell Grand Dragon even do? I've never actually seen this card. Um, when this card is special 7 target 1 monster in your graveyard, this card gains level. Attack equal to the level. Oh, so it's just a really high attack point monster. Okay. And it's really hard to get that effect off. Damn. Oh, Blast Magician. I don't think you do burn damage. Mage Power! Wait! Mage Power! 2900 attack! No, it's not enough! It's just not enough! You fool! That isn't enough attack points! Oh, good goblin housekeeping. God damn it. You needed 100 more. Premature Burial brings back the Felgr- Oh, we're gonna actually see its effect activate. Everyone, its effect activates. It throws away the creator. And it gains a shit ton- Oh, it has 4,400 attack! And that is gonna be it! Ashizu is out of this tournament! Goodbye, old school spellcaster's judgment. Hello, brand new deck. This one's crazy. Remember I just said that effect is hard to activate? Well, he just activated it. <laughs> there we go. He made it happen. Alright, so... We're gonna move forward with our revival of the dragon. The next duel is Taya and her Surge of Radiance deck versus the deck that shouldn't be here. Pegasus Volume 1. That should not be here. I don't know why I put Volume 1. I don't think there is a Volume 2, but whatever. This game is Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 Tag Force Special. Otherwise known as Tag Force 7 for those of you that are curious. Taya will be playing as Surge of Radiance, everybody. Surge of Radiance. It is a pretty old deck as well. Pegasus is... Look, he should have been wrecked the first time around. The fact that he's still here is a miracle. The fact that he knew how to use Change of Heart is a miracle. The AI shouldn't use this. This is for PPSSPP, otherwise known as PSP. PSP. Only in Japan. And it's only in English because we're playing a modded version. The question is, will he change a heart? Will he draw change a heart again? That's an even better question. Alright. Let's go ahead and get this duel started, everybody. It's time for Pegasus versus Taya. Surge of Radiance Structure Deck versus Pegasus uh, Volume 1. There are there is no CPU tag duels, and the way to mod in tag duels makes it take way too long to pick characters. So, even though there is a way to mod in tag duels, but the game doesn't naturally have tag duel option. That's why we've never done one. Um, but the way to mod it in is just terrible. I gotta say, it, it like it makes it it makes it take way too long to pick each deck and each character. All right, so we got some good damage coming in. Taya starts off there by getting rid of a monster. She's got Aegis of Gaia to heal herself uh, for some reason. Raigeki is a hell of a card. Magic Jammer will stop it. I'm starting to feel like uh, Pegasus Volume 1 is pretty busted, but we'll see. And we got this card activating. Hello, Voltanus the Adjunctor. Adjucator? I don't know. Someone who knows English better than me. Please figure that one out. And we got Shining Angel. So yeah, Pegasus might be as good as dead. Sangen can search for a card. It's going to get us a Magician of Faith to get back Raigeki. Oh, wait. No, he's got a plan. He actually has a plan here. If he Raigeki's her. He's, she's out of cards. But he needs to get his Tomb World sometime soon or he's going to be in some trouble. And Shine, Shining Angel number two is here. No lie, though. If he gets Raigeki, this could actually be a huge comeback for him. Okay. Okay. 
Does he still have... Yeah, he'll still have life points for uh, Tomb World. There you go. Of course, I'll play World Championship 2011, but that's down the road. All right, Red Geki comes through, and we got an Ar Red Archery Girl. That's old school. There we go. Before it became a tune, it was a card in his deck. In fact, you can get it in his starter deck. She's got a set card. Okay, lucky her. She even top decked a monster. He's going to go ahead and not do anything to it. That thing has way too much defense. Not good situation to be a, a Pegasus fan. Pegasus will jar greed. He needs to get his Tomb World before he runs out of life points here. Uh, Polly! Whoa, no way! What's he making? <gasps> no way! He's going to make his boss! Holy shit! I mean, it's not going to do much, but it it's there! Wait, why in defense mode? Why? It's the only thing that can attack you, idiot. All right, his AI's dumb, but what are you going to do? All right. Well, premature burial kicks in, but it's not going to do much. I wish he would have waited. I wish he would have waited. Red Archer Girl's Tomb Form has the exact same stats. The only weakness is that you have to wait one turn to attack and pay 500 life points, but you can attack directly. All right. Well... Thousand Eyes Restrict might turn this into a stall duel, so I'm going to press the fast forward button. Give me a second. There we go. We're going to fast forward this to see if anything happens. And somehow the field died. But he finally has Tomb World, but somehow the field died. And now we got to figure out... Okay, he has his Tomb Mermaid. There we go. He has Giant Trune, which kills Tomb Mermaid, I think. Or not. But now he has to replay Tomb World for a thousand life points. That's kind of a weird play. You giant trunate first, then you do all this other crap. At the end of the day, though, I think Pegasus is out of here, despite how close the life points are. Sanctuary in the Sky is kind of going to guarantee this. Uh, the Agent of Mars has a thousand attack, which is something at least. And the attacks are going through. Rogue Doll is about to die. Tune defense doesn't work. You could have used that on your other tune, but no. <laughs> you would have died, so I guess, yeah, that sucks. She has all her face downs again, one which will heal her by 3,000 life points, but... It's fake. It's not real life points. Uh, we got Fisher to take out one card, I guess. <laughs> and that's it. Pegasus played his best, but at the end of the day, he's out of here. 5,100 life point difference. The agent of Force Mars will win the duel. Taya Gardner is moving forward. Ah, uh, the Jingen Bakudan exploded. Good to know. Well, guys, Pegasus gets knocked out. Thank God. He shouldn't have been even, He should not have been here. Um, the next duel is a hey, dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. All right, dinosaurs rage. We're gonna have some Tyranno Hassleberry action with the dinosaurs rage structure deck. Um, uh, and he's gonna be going up against Lord of the Storm, which you know what? I will give to my Valentine. She's got too many fans for me not to. My Valentine will be playing as Lord of the Storm. Both of these characters are champions, but these decks are not. So we'll see what happens. I actually did like Dinosaur's Rage. I had it as a kid. It was one of the last ones I ever bought. Alright, my... Tyranno Hassavari and my Valentine should be a good duel. Lord of the Storm is a pretty old school deck too, so... You know. I remember seeing it on the shelves. Now let's go ahead and do this, everybody. He's got Dino DNA. <laughs> But will that dino DNA make a difference when my Valentine's got the, the freaking Sigmorph and all that stuff? In terms of power, Tyranno wins. In terms of speed, my wins. So, we'll see if those special summons make a difference. Oh, we're going to put four cards back. He apparently started with a terrible hand. Hyper Hammerhead is amazing. That is an amazing card. Flying Kamakiri guarantees her a monster. She chooses Harpy Ladies! Harpy Lady number one is here, everybody. But it's not going to get to stay on the f oh heavy storm god damn harpy lady number two and number one and sylphied why the hell not all right well there goes some damage harpy lady number one was the worst choice because that card going back to the hand means your monsters get weaker but what are you gonna do my valentine's not exactly a genius in this game no no characters are they're all pretty dumb um honestly i think tyranno's just lucky to have a monster left over that harpy lady number one's probably coming back Harpy Lady number one is... Oh, she got a looking egotist! She got the harem from hell! The Harpy Lady sisters, everybody. The Baby Source gets destroyed by battle. Tyranno Hasselberry gets destroyed by battle. This duel is as good as over. Holy shit. Tyranno Hasselberry is out of here. That is it, everybody. We're gonna have my Valentine move forward. 
The next duel is Memories of Ceremony. So for those of you that don't know, this is Yami Yugi using the deck he used against uh, Little Yugi. Or both of their decks combined, kind of. It's weird. Just know that it was one of the final duels of the show. It was the final duel of the show. All right. Memories of Ceremony versus Zane Truesdale and his structure deck, Mech Light Dragons. Yeah. Zane Truesdale and his structure deck, Mech Light Dragons. Should be good. Should be good. Wherever the hell that structure deck is hiding. Yep, there it is. One of the last structure decks here. All right, guys, let's get it going. Yugi versus Zane. Not a duel I'd ever see, uh, never really see coming, but you know, it probably would have been a good duel. Yugi would kick his ass, but it'd be a good duel. Only because Zane's AI is an idiot, by the way. All right, we're gonna start with Solar Wind Jammer. That's a hell of a start. Good defense monster. Oh no, it isn't. Never mind. Twelve hundred. And we got the Tricky to start the duel. And Green Gadget. Not bad from Yugi. Not a bad start. We'll take it. And Green Gadget is not going to destroy the monster, while Boku will buy Zane one extra turn, and he's got to make it count. Uh, Solar Wind Jammer is now a level 6 monster, which I don't think helps out Zane in any way, shape, or form. But here we go. Little Yu or Yugi, sorry, the King of Games, is going to go ahead and use Red Gadget to get Yellow Gadget. And there we go. Going to destroy that monster. Going to try and destroy it Armor Cyber, but fail. All right. Zane has bought himself another turn. And he uses his turn for nothing. All right. Well, let's see if Yugi could draw a better monster then. He cannot. <laughs> All right. Well, Yugi, you're not drawing much here, are you? And neither are you, Zane. You're kind of just stuck. 2,000 versus 2,000. One of you's got to make the first move. Nope. Full field. Yugi has filled up his field, just not the back row. And Zane has done absolutely nothing, but it worked so far. What is this structure deck? What the hell? The Dinosaur vs. Storm deck was five turns long. Second uh, shortest duel of the tournament. Ooh, he's going to try and get his boss. Look at Dark Magician of Chaos. And he's got the King's Knight. Oh, boy. All right. Zane, you got you to gotta do something. You got to do something. This is not going to work out. This is not how you win Yu-Gi-Oh. Be like, if he gets that Dark Magician of Chaos, you might as well surrender. I don't care what your structure deck is. Alright, Zane uses Trap Stun, which means he might go aggressive this turn. There's that. Or not. Did he just waste his Trap Stun? Did he just use Trap Stun for nothing? Oh my god. Alright, well, Gold Sarcophagus is here, which means we're now going to see the boss monster. We're going to tribute summon green gadgets and uh, yellow gadgets. Weird to keep red gadget, but whatever. We get back the gold sarcophagus, and maybe we could choose a new card. Gold sarcophagus will now choose a new card. That card is Monster Reborn. Hell of a card to choose. Uh, we're going to get rid of that annoying defense monster that gave us so much trouble. We're going to get rid of the Jade Knight. Jade Knight's effect will activate, giving him Reflect Mounder, which is going to be a good card, but damn. He's going to lose a lot of life points before then. And just like that, Zane Truesdo, everybody, is in a lot of trouble with his structure deck. And Yamayugi's looking real good with his ceremony deck. Reflect Bounder can at least get rid of the Gadget or the King's Knight. And Yu-Gi-Oh! cost you some life points, but... Oh, Megamorph, why? Why after the fact? Does that make sense to anyone else? I don't... That, that logic... What? Are we going to Karibo him? Karibo versus Reflect Bounder. Okay, Yugi doesn't care about life points. He cares about damage. And Yugi does 33 or 3,400 damage to himself, but kills Reflect Bounder. And now he's going to win the duel. He doesn't care about damage if it means he wins the duel, guys. And his opponent doesn't seem to have any card to stop him. The hidden technology doesn't make a difference. There's no Cyber Dragons. And that is it, everybody. The Duel of Ceremonies will move forward. That Karibo was pretty funny, I'll admit. All right, Memories of Ceremony deck will move forward. The next is Memories of Battle City versus Warrior Strike. All right, so I'm going to make this a Joey versus Yugi duel. Memories of Battle City. I'll keep it, uh, you know, we'll make him Little Yugs. Why not? Little Yugs for that, and then Joey Wheeler. Memories of Battle City. All right, and then I need old Joseph. All right, Joey, where are you hiding? Don't hide from me, Joey. 
you're going to play whether you like it or not. Alright guys, it's time for the Warrior Strike Structure deck to take on Memories of Battle City. Karibo did amazing. He won the duel. <laughs> Karibo just won the duel, everybody. Alright, so let's see. Joey versus Yugi. I'm going to have to give this one to Yugi. Even though it's just a Battle City era deck, I would say it still goes to Yugi. Alright, we got ourselves Marauding Captain, which last time he used this, it actually kind of ruled. And he's got Gemini Soldier. And he's got Double Summon if he wants to summon Gemini Soldier. And he summons Gemini Soldier. And he summons DD Warrior. And he plays Big Bang Shot on Marauding Captain. Good play. DD Warrior will remove from play the freaking Big Shield Gardener. The Gemini Warrior will attack and use its effect to do this to bring out. E e okay. Evocator Chevalier. Whatever its real name is. And that was a ton of damage from Joey and this warrior deck. Uh, Yugi, play better. Uh, I think a monster was necessary. Unless you have TT, I think a monster was necessary. We have ourselves a tribute summon. Say hello to Free the Matchless General. Say hello to Symbols of Duty. Throwing away that card to bring back that card in defense mode. Terrible play. Uh, it still wins in the duel, but yeah. Terrible play. Oh no, it doesn't. Why'd he do that? Joey, just because Yugi's your friend doesn't mean you give him one extra turn, you damn idiot. Oh, Yugi left. Uh, Yugi bricked anyway. <laughs> Yugi bricked anyway. Goodbye. All right, everyone, the duel's over. I don't understand what happened, but the duel's over. Joey Wheeler wins the duel with his structure deck. All right, we've made it into round three of the tournament. Round three is top 16. The top 16 structure starter, whatever decks you want to call them, are... Warrior Strike, Memories of Ceremony, Lord of the Storm, Surge of Radiance, Revival of the Great Dragon, Curse of Darkness, Dragonic Legion, Fury from the Deep, Yugi Edition Volume 1, Joey Edition Volume 1, Zombie Madness, Blaze of Destruction, Warrior's Triumph, Hero Strike, um, Machina Gear Trooper, and Dark Returner. Alright everybody, let's go ahead and get this duel started. I'm gonna let Titan do this Dark Returner deck, uh, or no, wait, Merrick, it was Merrick. I'm letting Merrick play the Dark Returner deck, um... And he's going to be going up against the Thumb, Bronk, and his uh, Machina Gear Trooper deck. I, I actually don't know these decks at all. It's uh, it's out of my out of my time period. So we'll just see how they do. All right, we got Dark Returner. Now I just need good old uh, Machina Man, Bronk. Where are you? Or not Machina Man, but Machine Man. It's like a Gear Giano deck. Alright, Thumb. I think the Thumb has the record, right? He won a duel in four turns. He has the record for today's tournament. Let's see if he can keep that record up and win even quicker in this duel. Alright, there we go. We're going to have good old Merrick and the Thumb going at it. Dark Returner versus Machine Gear Troopers. Don't know these two decks at all. All I know is one's Gear Giano and one's... Don't remember the other one. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right, we got Sangan to start the duel, and no damn four back row. All right, and we have Gen X Neutron. Gen X Neutron will get uh, Phoenix Chain, so it doesn't get to do anything anymore. Which means it doesn't even get its effect to get him to, get him to search. Uh, we got Evil Swarm Salamandra. Oh, it's the Evil Swarm deck, of course. Evil Swarm Salamandra. All right, let's see here. We got Gear Town. Really, it runs Gear Town. That's interesting, at least. And he has Gadgetron Dragon. Okay. Okay. So this Gear Giano deck, because look, there, there it is. Gear Giano has a Gadgetron Dragon in it, and it stops the spells and trap cards from activating. Not bad. Not bad. This could be a good Ancient Gear deck. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe this is the one we've all been waiting for. All right, we got Minefield Driller. Whatever the hell that does... Not even piercing damage, huh? Sangyun gets Summoner Monk, which won't make a damn difference. I'll tell you that for free. And Evil Swarm card does what exactly? Nothing's been special summoned, so yeah. We have Summoner Monk. Unless you drew a spell card, what's the point? Oh, you did. Wow. Good on you. And you got two level four monsters. Does that make an exceed monster? We got Call of the Haunted. We got three level four monsters. Does that make an exceed monster? Triple XYZ summon, everybody. We're finally going to see one. It is Ouroboros, the boss of that deck. 
That is the strongest card in that deck. Ouroboros' effect, target one card, Gear Town is going back to the hand. It can't beat Gadgetron Dragon by attack points, and that is really depressing. <laughs> that is super depressing. All of that effort to summon your best card, and Gadgetron just like, well, I'm a 3k beater, so you can go to hell. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do. All right, we got uh, Evil Swarp Kitos now. Kitos is going to do this to get rid of that, and that's GG. It looks like uh, the Thumb has this duel in complete control, and the Thumb might be moving forward. We've seen a lot of gadgets in all these structure decks. Uh, yeah, that damage is looking good. Crowler used the other deck. He used the actual Gadgetron Dragon deck that was on the structure deck. This is not that deck. This is a different one. This one is called, like, Machiner's Group something. I don't remember. And Evil Swarm Heliotrope is here. Um, Gadgetron is not untargetable, and Crowler... Look, this deck isn't actually Ancient Gears at all. This deck just has that support. This deck is actually Girgianos. What Ancient Gear structure deck has two extra deck? <laughs> and there we go. We got Evil Swarm of Finnum, as if it matters. It's a little too late for that card to make a difference. And 2550 damage goes in. Not bad. Yeah, this deck has more Girgiano stuff than anything. Oh. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. That was pretty impressive. And Yellow Gadget comes in. Not bad. Green Gadget is there. Not bad either. 1,200 damage comes in. Okay. It looks like Merrick has a small chance at a comeback after throwing that stuff away. But he's got a uh, top deck a card. He top deck Thunderbird. That's enough to destroy the Gadget. With the Gadget dead, he can't tribute for Gadgetron anymore. Without the ability to tribute for Gadgetron, he's in some trouble. Wait, we got a spell card. Will that stop Smashing Ground? It does. All right, we got Green Gadget, which is not strong enough. Red Gadget is there, but like I said, it's not strong enough. And it looks like uh, Merrick might make a comeback. Who knows? It might happen. It's We've seen lower life points make comebacks. 200 life point freaking... Uh, I forgot who it was, but someone at 200. Red Gadget gets summoned, and guess what? We got more Yellow Gadgets. This deck has more copies instead of just one. We have Creature Swap to end the duel. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, you already summoned. Never mind. It can't end the duel, but it will end the duel. There's nothing Merrick in top deck now. There's nothing in that deck. I don't know that deck at all, honestly. Evil Swarm Mandagora. Switches for... Oh, wait, that one can do it. That has 1850. All right, Evil Swarm um, Zahawk has actually done it. And destroys uh, good old Tetsuo the Thumbs Monster. He's got himself a machine buffing card, and he summons the yellow gadget, which is not strong enough. But it will get him the green gadget, which is not strong enough. In fact, this is just a duel of, hey, I'm not strong enough. What am I doing here? Merrick's trying... Oh, rare Metal Morph. That is strong enough. With 50 damage, that will end it. So Hawk will do nothing. And just like that, Merrick will bite the dust and Bronk the Thumb will be moving forward. With Gadgetron Dragon, it's a guaranteed victory. There we go. That's how it's done, everybody. Gadgetron Dragon does the job. So, let's go ahead and move on forward. Machine Gear Troopers, move forward. The next duel is Hero Strike, which is the Jaden deck versus Warrior's Triumph, which I just give them all to Joey anyway. Yeah, because I love Joey. Warrior's Triumph is the original Warrior deck, so hopefully it can actually do good. We are now in round three, so it's harder for these original structure decks to actually perform. But who knows, maybe Warriors Triumph is just that good. Maybe it could actually defeat heroes, even though, you know, Jaden is, uh, you know, a lot stronger. This, this hero deck is kind of insane. Alright, here we go, everybody. It's time for Jaden versus Joey. Warriors Triumph structure deck versus Hero Strike structure deck. Honestly, my odds are always on Jaden in this case, but I want to give Joey a chance. Jaden will set set pass. Okay, a brick from Jaden is a weird start. No emergency call, no Stratos, no nothing. MST will pop the Hero Blast, and a summon will be Command Knight, which is a really good card. God damn it. The MST the wrong card. All right, just like that, Command Knight is gone. Jaden sets a card, but it's not a good one. We got ourselves Goblins. All right, everyone. Goblins are here. Wing Karibo will bite the dust, but Jaden does not care. Wing Karibo's death is just part of the job. 
Jaden, again, this is the most bricky we've ever seen him. Usually he has like a million monsters in hand thanks to all of his effects, but not this time around. Except Grandma. Oh, God, that's not a good idea, Jaden. Jaden, you don't want to keep... Yo, okay, good. I thought he was going to use his effect. Thank God. Lightning Vortex, okay, at least you got rid of Grand Mole. You don't want to have to deal with that. But you got rid of Warrior Returning Alive, which means you have no monsters. Why'd you get rid of Warrior Returning Alive? You needed that. Alright, he drew DD Warrior Lady. Solid-ass monster. One of the best cards you actually got back in the day from the structure deck. That was one of the best cards you could pull from... I mean, that you got in that structure deck. Was DD Warrior Lady. DD Warrior Lady is going to have to do the job all by herself, because both these characters seem to be bricking. Two bricks is not good. Jaden, what the fuck? Like, seriously? No, this is only on YouTube. Twitch is uh, Saturdays. YouTube is Thursdays. Card Trooper kicks in and big buff. Shadow Mist was thrown away to get him Stratos, so now Jaden cannot run out of cards. He'll always have a monster. And Joey is Blast with Chain! He's going to be able to beat the Card Trooper and not lose his DD Warrior Lady. All right. Joey Wheeler could go for game if he's lucky enough. Will the original... Nope, he does not draw a monster. I was going to say, will the original structure deck do the job? But it will not. He did not draw a 1400 beater monster. That's all he needed. But now he has to take on Stratos. And Magic Jammer will throw... Wait, you had Exile 4? Oh, wait, that would have been good to save. He's not wrong. That would have been good to save. It would have it left the opponent with 400 life points. Alright, Stratos is here. We have Hero Mask. Which makes it have... Oh, we got Mass Change. We have Divine Wind. We have Mass Charge. Jesus Christ, Jaden. Jaden, Jaden, slow the fuck down. Holy crap. And there goes that card. DD Warrior Lady will remove it from play. He's wide open. This is your last chance, Joey, before Jaden just wrecks you. Heavy Storm. You just need a monster. Reload. He's going to try and reload a monster. Did he get a monster card? He drew... Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke, Joey Wheeler's original structure deck, the Warrior's Triumph, will knock out Jaden Yuki and his Hero Strike structure deck. There we go, everybody. Warrior's Triumph, one of the OGs. Probably one of your guys' first structure decks if you played back in the day. Well, speaking of original structure decks, here comes two more. All right, we got Blaze of Destruction, the fire structure deck being played by Axel Brody. And that structure deck will be going up against Zombie Madness, of course. The Camula structure deck. Alright, Axel Brody. Don't hide from me. There you are. I found him. Well, we got rid of Jaden, so that's kind of crazy. I thought his deck would be one of the contenders for winning this tournament of all the structure decks. I didn't think the original six would be moving on to top eight. Like, that seems kind of crazy to me. One of the original six moved on to top eight, and another one's about to make it just by lucky bracket. Granted, they had to earn their way here. They had to take out blue eye structure decks, so I guess that's something. Zombie Madness will go to Camula. It depends. What do you guys like more? Do you guys like the fire deck, or did you guys like the zombie deck when it first came out? Which one was your deck? Between these two, I think I would have chosen the zombie deck personally, if it was little kid me. Um, but who knows? Maybe you guys like Burn. Alright, Fire Mixtape. <laughs> Anime Duel after this deck? Oh boy. Alright, we have a set from Camula with her zombie deck. And Noble Van will get rid of that set. Pyramid Turtle is gone. That's a big shame. Blazing Impachi is one of the better beater monsters you can get from the Fire deck, and it did good. And we have a creature swap. Interesting. We're going to take Blazing Impachi and not attack the face down monster. Why? Why give them the monster at all if you weren't going to... It was Spirit... Why give them Spirit Reaper? Why in the hell would you give your opponent Spirit Reaper? Now you lose stuff. You lose, ma'am. Good day. Oh, you lost Genesis. Oh, look. It's freaking Blazing Impachi. And now... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The fire deck is going ham. Although I do love Ultimate Baseball Kid, and he's in the fire deck. Of course it's AI gameplay. Yeah, 100%. We do AI tournaments on Thursdays on, tw uh, on YouTube and Saturdays on Twitch. And just like that, Camula is out of here. It was not a good duel. Camula loses. 
And there we go, everybody. The fire structure deck, blazing whatever it's called. I I just forgot it. We were we just left the screen. So let's see. Blaze of Destruction has made it to top uh, eight of the tournament. The next duel will be Joey Edition Volume 1 versus Yugi Edition Volume 1. I have no idea how both of these decks made it to top 16, but they did it. They actually did it. Little Yugs versus <laughs> his buddy Joey. This might actually be a fun duel. Who knows? Maybe this duel will actually be close and not one person getting wrecked. When, you, when it was Joey versus Kaiba, that one was really close. That was a super close duel. So I want to believe Yugi versus jo uh, Joey will be close as well. But who knows? Yugi's a better duelist than Joey and Kaiba, so... We'll find out. Here we go, guys. It's time for Joey versus Yugi. Ooh. Let's see what Joey starts with. Joey's going to go ahead and start the duel with... Set, set, pass. Nothing wrong with that. Gotta start basic. Yugi's got Dark Hole. Weird start, but we're gonna use one of the best cards ever, and there was no gain. That was a terrible use of that card. Graceful Charity is going to Monster Born. Buster Blader! Uh-oh! Uh-oh, wait a minute. We got a problem here. Oh, he didn't summon another monster. If he had summoned another monster, Joey would be below half by now. Joey has his own Dark Hole. Okay, both characters start with Dark Hole. Witch of the Black Forest is a pretty safe card just to get some damage in. Spellbinding Circle was wasted on Witch of the Black Forest. Giant True Name was wasted right now. I would have let that Spellbinding Circle stay right there, but whatever. Yugi's going to bring back Buster Blader yet again. He can't help himself. Joey better not throw away any of his dragons or that Buster Blader is going to be a huge threat. Witch of the Black Forest will search out a card. Baby, I just said don't do that. Oh my god, don't do that, Joey. You're in trouble now. Why did you hit Premature Burial? You have Dust Tornado! Hit for- Okay, Pot of Greed can help him at least. There's something. Oh, giving me a headache here. Time Wizard! Oh, you crazy bitch! Don't do it! Don't do it! Time Roulette Magic! It worked! Joey did it! Oh, shit! 500 damage! Yugi's bleeding! He actually got rid of Buster Blader! The Time Wizard kicked it! He used Fisher on a Time Wizard? Are you kidding me? Holy crap! Gear free! There's the beater monster. There's the Mariko. Cyber Jar! What the hell? Red Eyes! Okay. Penguin Soldier is really good. That is really good. That's a part of the Joey Starter deck. Luminous Soldier, meh. Goblin Attack Force, that's really good. That is really good. Alright. Gazelle, yeah, I'd be scared of those freaking goblins as well. Giant Rat, wow, y Joe, uh, Yugi's already got two monsters. Giant Rat, damn, Yugi already has three monsters. Holy crap. Got Swift Guy, the Fierce Knight. That's good. Dark Magician Girl's good, too. All right. Well, you destroyed... Wow, he didn't hit Giant Rat. That's super lucky. You definitely don't want to hit Giant Rat right now and give him even more monsters. All right, Yugi, what's going to be your play? Giant Rat? Okay. Trap Hole says no. Try again. Giant Rat? Okay. Do you summon a monster? He has no... Mo They're all tribute monsters. They're all tribute. And we have Dark Magician Girl, which is a terrible play because we both know we saw Penguin Soldier hit the field. Dust Tornado is going to make sure that trap can't stop it. It was Magical Hats. Penguin Soldier is going to bounce two cards back, including itself, just to make sure it can keep the loop going. Joey's going to summon Command Knight, a great card at this point. And he's making a comeback against Yugi, who plays Karibo to stop the damage. All right. But we know Yugi's hand is full of bricks. Yugi has a hand full of bricks. Cyber Jar showed us that. Which means Joey's... In oh, it's Karate Man! He's not even doubling the attack, but that's awesome. Karate Man is in town, everybody. All right, what are you going to do, Yugs? What are you going to do? That's not enough. Little Yugi might lose to Joey. Joey might have done and might have done this. Joey's going to play Luminous Soldier, which has plenty of attack points to end this duel. 2,500 damage goes through. One more attack for game. Yugi's final trap card is nothing. The end of the duel is here. Joey Wheeler is advancing to top eight with his original deck. All right. That is crazy. Joey Wheeler is still going forward. The next duel is Fury from the Deep, one of the six original structure decks. And guess what? This is uh, played by Mako Tsunami. Mako Tsunami is going to be playing Fury from the Deep. And he's going up against Dragonic Legion, which we have given to Chaz Princeton for fun. <laughs> We have just given it to him for fun. So, Chaz Boy, we're going to let you do that one. 
Oh yeah, Chaz won with 200 life points. That, this is the deck that barely clutched it. I remember. Dragonic Legion should have lost, but it barely clutched it. And stayed in the duel with 200 life points. So maybe he could do it again. Maybe he can clutch his way into top 8. Or maybe it's over. Who knows. Alright guys, I'll see you all next time. Don't worry, the stream will be on YouTube, as usual, since we're already here. Let's go ahead and start this up. So, we have Mako Tsunami, our freaky fish guy, and we have good old uh, Chaz Princeton and his dragons. We'll see which one is better. Chaz will be the one to start the duel. And we got Space Mambo. Space Mambo is going to go in and destroy Lila of the Light Sworn. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. No, no, no. I'm saying goodbye to Luis. They, they sadly had to go. Uh, Tribe Infecting Virus, that is probably the best card you get from Fury of the Deep. Like, that is one of the most busted. I think it got banned back in the day, so yeah, there's no way to use it, but it was the most busted. Uh, then we got ourselves an Axe Dragonoot, an actual good monster. You should have hit the Tribe Infect- Gravity Bind! Wait, if he gets a Legendary Ocean, that's actually a good play. But he doesn't have it right now, so now it's not a good play. That was a bad play. I would have let Space Mambo die. We have a Tribute Summon for Prime Material Dragon, but Prime Material Dragon will be locked down just like everybody else. Um, right now, it's all up to getting a Legendary Ocean and his boss monster, the Leviathan Dragon. Though Prime Material Dragon is an amazing card to get. I'm surprised Tribe Infecting Virus hasn't used its effect yet. Alright, Mako Tsunami has a full field now. We have uh, Wing Beats, which will get rid of that card, which is something we needed to do. Summoner Monk is coming in, but that doesn't exactly help you in this situation unless... Snipe Hunter. I didn't even consider that card. I hadn't... He was not even... Oh, wow! You run Kaiba Man in that deck? That structure deck has Kaiba Man in it? And Light Swarm... Oh, I knew it had a Light Swarm card, but damn. Okay, Iron Call. Space Mambo. I... Really? You should hit Tribe Infecting Virus. Out of all these cards, that's the one that needs to die. And that's the best you could do. Okay. Okay. And there we go. We got Fenrir on the field. And we got Premature Burial bringing back the seven colored fish. Not bad. Good beater monster. Surprised you put Femur in defense mode, but I guess, uh, yeah, you didn't have two monsters to destroy Summoner Monk. Although I don't think Summoner Monk is going to save him in any way, shape, or form. The Freaky Fish guy is in control of this duel. Jade is actually, or Jane is actually perfect because it can destroy the seven colored fish and is stronger than everything Mako has left. Oh, wait, we got an effect Eclipse Wyvern. Eclipse Wyvern threw away Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. All right, Mako, you gotta you got the field wide open for you. You just gotta defeat one monster with 1,800 attack. Can you not do that, Mako? I understand some of your fish aren't that strong, but if you draw your tribute monster, you got this. He did not draw his tri a tribute monster, guys. He's in some trouble. Our freaky fish guy might be in some trouble. <gasps> Dark Arm Dra Oh, sorry, pressed L2. Dark Arm Dragon! This man had just enough! Chaz pulls off the Dark Arm Dragon, pops the back row, pops the- Oh, sorry, I thought you popped back row. Pops the face down, pops the face down, pops the back row. Just like that, this duel is as good as over. Mako Tsunami was winning, but this duel- How are you gonna beat Dark Arm Dragon? Honestly, how are you gonna beat it? There's no way. I didn't even know he had three exact- I, I didn't think he had three exact dark monsters in the grave. That's crazy. And we're going to special summon Fenrir again as if it makes a damn difference. Hammer Shot will make a difference. Getting rid of that monster. And Fenrir will prevent the opponent from drawing next turn. Alright, that was important for Mako. Great play from Mako Tsunami. Because now all he has is Jane, which is still better than everything Mako has. But it slowed down the duel bit, which is what Mako needed. Or what Mako needed, yeah. All right, he's getting close to decking out, but he's fine. Salvage, what a top deck. You need Mother Grizzly. That is the most important card there. You need Mother Grizzly. Mother Grizzly hits the field, thank God. And we got Chaos Sorcerer. Jesus Christ. Eclipse Wyvern brings back... No. 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 Red Eyes Darkness Metal brings back monsters. It brings back the one that does piercing damage. The Mother Grizzly doesn't matter anymore. It's over. This duel is over. Unshaven Angler, go to hell. The winner is Chaz and his freaking Dra Dragonic Legion deck. Or whatever it was called. God damn it. Good job, Mako Tsunami. But the original deck isn't as good as Dragonic Legion. The structure deck, Dragonic Legion, is insane. Alright, guys. The next duel is going to be Curse of Darkness versus Revival of the Great Dragon. 
Revival of the Great Dragon structure deck is one we gave to Jack Atlas. Um, and the other structure deck, Curse of Darkness. I always forget who I gave that to, but I... Is it Titan? Did I give that deck to Titan? I think I did. I hope I did. Revival of the Great Dragon. Not bad. Curse of Darkness. I'm just going to give it to Titan. I don't even care. They're all the same. Titan, Titan will do the job. He knows what he's doing. You think Ty Dad is too bo broken for a structure format? I don't know. I mean, honestly, Chaz has been coming back in each duel. He hasn't been, like, destroying in his duels. He's had to make comebacks. So, it's not like he's winning by a lot. Granted, he made it to top 8, so that means something. That structure deck is something. But, let's go ahead and get it started. Jack Atlas and Revival of the Great Dragon versus Titan and Curse of Darkness. We'll see how it goes. Alright, looking at this... Thank you very much, Sierra. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. And Foolish Burial is going to go in and throw away Majestic Mech. We also summon a Mass Dragon, which is fine. Mass Dragon will not be able to destroy the Spirit Reaper. Curse of Darkness has that much safety, at least. Heavy Storm is going to be the next one to kick in, and it destroys some trap cards. That's uh, nice to destroy the traps, but you can't beat your opponent's 1400 beater. That's kind of sad. Stealth Bird will be here to do some burn damage when need be. Alright, we got a set. Stealth Bird's going back face down. Jack Atlas has to make a decision here. He needs to get something big on the field. Morphing Jar! Okay, that makes a huge difference. Let's see what happens. Terraforming will get him the field spell he needs to summon his monsters without tribute. Um... Premature Burial brings back something he threw away. Majestic Megoryu is back, everybody. And Just Desserts, I would have waited, but that makes you pay 1,500 life points. And never mind, waiting was a bad idea. Good on ya. And Felgrin Dragon, the card on the freaking structure deck. That is on the face of the structure deck. And Spirit Reaper, yep, piercing damage will win him the duel. Jack Atlas is in complete control of this duel, guys. And Sylphie, or Sel a Stealth Bird, will do a thousand burn, but that's it. This duel's as good as over. Plague Wolf won't do a damn thing. Mega Mor- Oh, it would have done- Okay, Plague Wolf, Plague Wolf would have done something, but now it won't. That was a good play. Jack Atlas made a really good play. Ectoplasmer! Titan, the life points! It's crazy, what are you doing? Why did you get rid of Plague Wolf? It was gonna die anyway! You're an idiot! All you had to do was kill Plague Wolf! It was dead! Ah, oh, you're so dumb. God, you're dumb. Alright, well... Magic Cylinder! Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute. Titan can win this duel. If he uses Ectoplasma for burn. He might have a chance. Malice Doll of Demise, the card with... Ma oh my god, it's so close. He has to live one turn, but he can't. The damage is too good. Call of the Haunted brings back Felgrin Dragon. It gets its effect off. Its effect gives it a massive 4,400 attack stat. The duel is over. Right before Titan can make the comeback a reality, he does bite the dust. Damn. If only he would have chosen Plague Wolf. If only he would have chosen Plague Wolf. Alright, well, that was a good duel. But Jackie Boy and his revival of the Great Dragon will move forward. <laughs> Once this website stops being mean today. The next duel is Surge of Radiance versus Lord of the Storm. Taya Gardner versus My Valentine. Alright. Fairies versus Winged Beasts. Yeah, but he would have still had a Spirit Reaper on the field to protect his life points. That 4,400 damage would have meant nothing. The piercing damage would have done something, I'll admit, but it wouldn't have done everything. Alright, let's see here. Surge of Radiance. There we go. And Lord of the Storm. Good old My Valentine. There it is. All right, I am ready to start this duel. We'll see which one of these uh, dueling gals will be moving forward. They're both very powerful duelists. 
Uh, My Valentine has won a tournament and uh, has won two tournaments. Sorry, she's the number one rep for this year's World Tournament stage. And Taya Gardner in the gigantic 250 character Shadow Realm tournament got third place out of all 250 characters in the game. She got third. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. But they weren't using these decks, so we'll see what happens. Uh, all right, we're gonna get rid of the Sonic Shooter for free, basically. And we're going to summon Bountiful Artemis to do some damage. Good start. Dust Tornado is going to go ahead and hit one of those traps. We're going to get rid of Aegis of Gaia. That's fine. Uh, basic set. My Valentine is not moving nearly as fast as she did in the last duel. She might be getting overpowered here. Uh, Harpy Lady number three will bite the dust, but its effect does activate. It, uh, Hysteric Party might make a difference. Might not. Hysteric Party brings out a defensive monster at least. That's it. All right. Uh, can't do much more than that. Bountiful Artemis is not allowed to attack for two turns, I believe, due to Harpy Lady number three's effect. Harpy Lady number one does make a difference by buffing both of the monsters. Uh, but Widespread Ruin will kill Harpy Lady number three. Good choice. Negate attack. Really? You're going to use both traps? Bountiful Artemis lets you draw a card. Okay. Okay, Mai. You tried, but it looks like, yeah, you're dead. You're dead. I don't care how hard you tried. You are super dead. This duel is as good as over. Not this turn, but it's as good as over. My Valentine, I don't know any comebacks you have. You went crazy in your first duel, but this duel, not so much. The Lord of the Storm structure deck is about to get wrecked by Surge of Radiance. All right, Flying Kamakiri. I guess if you go against Shining Angel, you both can crash until the cows come home, but we'll see. We're going to go ahead and summon Shining Angel. That was obvious. Harper Lady number two. Oh, and our Flying Kamakiri. That should have been obvious. Are they just going to crash until they're out of their freaking floaters? Maybe that's what happens. Nova Summoner. Yeah, I forgot. They She has more floaters than you. Harpy Lady number three. That ain't too good. <laughs> or number two, I mean. That one is not too good. That one's not going to do anything for you. We have a Tribute Summon of Arknight Parsha to end the duel guaranteed. And that is going to be it. Taya wrecks my Valentine in the duel. And Taya moves forward with Surge of Radiance. Not bad. Not bad. I respect it. Alright. Surge of Radiance. Once this thing loads, shall move forward. The next duel is Memories of Ceremony. That is a, a Yugi deck. That is Yami Yugi's final deck. Memories of Ceremony. And that will be taking on Warrior Strike. A deck that I believe is Gemini's that I give, gave to Joey Wheeler just for fun. Because he also uses warriors. So, let me go ahead and find this ceremony deck. Mer mer memories of the ceremonial battle. And then finally, let's get Joey and Warrior Strike together. So, here we go, guys. It's time for Yugi and Joey, but this is Yami Yugi this time. Not little Yugi. Let's see how it goes. Between these two characters, Warrior Strike is going to take it. 100%. That Warrior Strike structure deck is too good. All right, set, set, pass. Not too bad. We have the Tricky. That's always a good start, especially when you get rid of Jax Knight. You don't want that in your hand. Gemini Summoner will stay alive. Paying 500 life points. Okay, we got Dark Valkyria. Not going to do enough. It needs its. It needs to be summoned again. All right, we got Karaz the Light Monarch. That is a good card, throwing away two cards. Uh, we have Ribbon of Rebirth. Is that what it says? I don't know. Whatever it is, it is. Now, let's go ahead, do 1,800 damage, and see what Yugi thinks about that. Yugi's going to play Gold Sarcophagus to get out uh, his best card, but I don't think he has a way to summon it. That was a really weird choice for Gold Sarcophagus in this case. Dark Valkyria now has 2,100 attack. And Big Bang Shot makes it so that card is amazing. Karaz will be doing the first damage, but Mirror Force kicks. Damn, he had Mirror Force the whole time. And Birthright brings back Dark Valkyria. Okay. Okay, Joey, at least you have Dark Valkyria. There's that. All right. And Yugi plays defensively, waiting for Dark Magician. Now, this card at least has 2100 attack. That's good. That 2100 beater is really nice. And Blockman. I used to have that card when I was a kid. It came in like one of those weird packs. Or one of those weird uh, special things. All right. Well, Blockman is dead. And we have ourselves Field Commander Roz, which will give him any more. Oh. DD Warrior Lady is a hell of a choice. 2100 damage will not work. Karibo, wow, he's got Karibo in every goddamn deck. Doesn't matter if it's Memories of Duel's Kingdom, Memories of Battle City, or memory, Memories of the Ceremonial Battle. Karibo never left him. 
And we got a set. Okay, well, this is looking like a very cut and dry duel. We already know he's going to draw. Wow, you chose DD Warrior even though you had DD Warrior Lady. I guess to end the duel. All right, well, sucks to be Yugi fans. Joey fans seem to be eating good tonight, which is good for me because I do love me some Joey. And just like that, those structure deck Warrior Strike will be moving forward. We have made it into top eight of our structure deck tournament. So, let's find out which of these top eight structure decks will be the best. Will it be Warrior Strike, Surge of Radiance, Revival of the Great Dragon, Dragonic Legion, Joey Edition Volume 1, Blaze of Destruction, Warrior's Triumph, or finally Machine Gear Troopers? Let's go ahead and find out. The first duel will have Warrior's Triumph, which is the OG uh, Warrior Structure deck. The first one with Guildford the Legend. Um, and that deck comes with, uh, uh, is going up against uh, Machine Gear Troopers, which has a shit ton of machine cards with a lot of support. And has the fastest duel of the day. Bronx uh, Machine Gear Trooper deck has won on turn 4 today. A turn 4 victory is nothing to ignore. That is actually pretty insane. So, let's see if Joey Wheeler can take on Bronk, or if Bronk is going all the way with this deck. Welcome, Andrew, and I hope you enjoy your first live match. It's going to be two structure decks going at it. One you might recognize, the Warrior's Triumph. One I don't recognize. The Machine Gear Troopers. Alright, let's go ahead and get this started, guys. I think the same thing, DG Cates. I want uh, Joey to win this, but I know that that warrior or that machine deck is really good. So we're gonna go with a set set pass, classic start. Nothing wrong with that. Everyone likes a good set set pass. Goblin attack force is nice for one turn at least. Heavy mech support platform is dead, but that doesn't mean anything. Losing that card meant absolutely nothing to the thumb. The thumb now summons a good monster, Gen X Neutron, and this is where things become problematic. That monster stayed long enough to get a card in hand. We got Gen X Ally Birdman. And now Joey's got to find a way out of this situation. Lightning Vortex, I might have saved that card, but I'm guessing he's in a bad situation. Gear Free the Iron Knight is an amazing card and is awesome. He lost an Equip Spell for this, but that's fine. He doesn't need it. In fact, his boss monster wants Equip Spells in the grave. Damn it! Smashing Ground kicks in. And just like that, Gear Giano is here. Gear Giano will now be tributed to bring back Gen X Neutron. Gen X Neutron's going in for 1800 attack, and guess what? It's probably... Oh, it has to be Normal Summon. Never mind. Uh, yeah, Joey's in a lot of trouble here. Joey sets a card out of fear. No reason not to be afraid right now. We're all afraid. And he summons Gen X Ally Birdman. Marauding Captain is dead. That means he has no monsters in hand. If Joey has anything in hand, it's not a monster. This is looking really bad to be a Joey fan right now. Alright, Giant Rat is here. I, I'm not going to do the math on this, but if I did, if, yeah, it's over. <laughs> All right, limited removal for the game, and that is it. The old G Warriors Triumph is out of here. It just can't compete. It is cool that it got to top eight, though. I'm glad to see it made it that far. I am very impressed to see that that deck got that far, but here we go. One of the only, uh, I think this might be the last OG deck to survive, Blaze of Destruction. The fire structure deck from way back in the day. This is the only OG one still left in the tournament. We'll see if it can make it. Axel Brody will be at the helm. And he's taking on Joey Edition Volume 1. Alright. Blaze of Destruction versus Joey. Final part? No, 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 no. No way, Uncle's Grandma. No way. People have been asking for other Yu-Gi-Oh! games. They're not going to get the same one. What? A bet a donation? Oh, I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm, not, I'm not into betting. I think that's illegal. But whatever you guys do on your own time is your own time. I can't do anything about that. If I had to make a prediction on who would win the final match, it's going to be Joey. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see what decks get to top four first. Top eight. Just too much can happen in top eight. All right, Joey. Yeah, you got here with your volume one deck somehow. Not even your volume two deck, but your volume one deck. Let's see how it works. You're taking on the original Blaze of Destruction.
Now, let us see how this goes. Alright, we got a set, set, set pass. Nothing wrong with that. Axel Brody starts with Gaia Soul of Combustion. It's gone. That card would have died anyway, but oh, it's back. Alright. We used a premature burial on a card that's just going to die anyway. But you know what? I think it does piercing, so yay. Command Knight will die, which I guess Joey did want to keep alive, but couldn't do it. So now we're going to see what can happen. Uh, there we go. We got Command Knight and we got Axe of Despair. That's really good. 2,600 damage coming through. Not bad, not bad. I'm very impressed to see that. All right. Falsebound Kingdom. Uh, oh, no way. You found me through Falsebound Kingdom. That's great. That was a fun Let's Play. Both of them were. Um, the second Let's Play, the challenge mode is nothing. Like, challenge mode is literally just... Oh, wow. He lost, he lost his monster. And Inferno, but not in attack mode. Into a tribute. It's a Thestalos. Uh-oh. You're in some trouble there. And Time Wizard's gone. He lost his Time Wizard. That was his only chance. That was his only hope. Oh, copycat. I forgot this idiot has copycat. Oh, my God. You crazy bitch. You crazy little bitch. Backfire. Okay. Can you find a way back into this duel, Joey? That's my question. Your copycat may keep you alive, but you need something that can get through this Thestalos. Joey's bricked. I can't believe that he even had copycat in that moment. But he is bricked. But they're both bricked. Neither deck knows what to do right now. Okay. The the brick continues. Goodbye, Fairy's Hand Mirror. <laughs> no Joey versus Joey finals? I don't know. Not... Mm. That Rage Sprite will get a little stronger, but it won't stop Joey. That's for sure. Copycat. Oh, no, it will. He's not going to let... Whoa! Graceful Dice! He got the maximum! Copycat wins by Graceful Dice. Backfire does a little bit of burn, but Joey is staying in this duel. Oh, my God. Karate Man! Chop him up! Let's do this. 1,300 damage, but Joey will take the burn. But guess what? Axel Brody and his Blazing Destruction deck are barely still here. I'm honestly surprised Joey is still in this duel. I can't believe it. All right, we got ourselves a Molten Zombie, which is going to do some damage back to Joey, but Joey's life points are just healthy enough. All right, Witch of the Black Forest ki kicks in. No, you're not wrong. Palspawn Kingdom's amazing. That's one of the best games ever created, honestly, when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! games. And that is it! Joey Wheeler has made it to top four with his original version deck, which is like a starter deck for him. All right, there we go. Joey, you absolute madman. All of the original structure decks are gone now, but they made it to top eight, and I will respect them from that. But now, we are moving on to... Come on, just, just work. I don't know why that X even pops up. Dragonic Legion versus Revival of the Great Dragon, otherwise known as Chaz versus ja uh, Jack Atlas. Chaz Princeton and Jack Atlas going at it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know how this one's going to go. Uh, where is he? Revival of the Great Dragon. I need Dragonic Legion now. Dragonic Legion. Which of these decks do you think is better? They're both pretty high power. They both have pretty amazing combos, but which one is better? That is the real question. I see a lot of people trying to chaz it up in chat, but we'll see. We'll see if we could chaz it up. <laughs> oh, the dream is still alive. That's true. There's still two Joeys in here. All right. Well, here we go. We have Summoner Monk to start the duel, which is an amazing card, especially when you start... Oh, you did not start with the spell card. Never mind. That was a terrible start. Jack has a worse start. He has no monsters. Yay. And Summoner Monk with the Horn of the Flute will summon Dr Axe Dragonute. Okay. And we normal summon Kaiba Man, which is going to... Oh my god, he has Blue Eyes. He evolves into Blue Eyes, and that damage is insane. 3,800 damage. Jack Atlas is in a lot of trouble. Welcome, Ghost Wolf. And sorry to say, but chasing it up is the right way to go. You're right. Never mind. Good on you. All right. And that's it. That's game. This duel's over. Especially with Snipe Hunter, this duel's super... Oh, never mind. Especially with Prime Material Dragon, this duel's super over. And 3,000 damage comes through. The duel was done in turn 5. It's not the record. Don't, don't, don't get confused. That is not the record, but that is super fast. The record is turn 4. 
All right, Chaz Princeton destroys Jack Atlas. That Dragonic Legion deck is busted, especially when you start with the Kaiba Man combo like that. That was insane. We have made it to the final duel of top eight, everybody. This duel is going to be Surge of Radiance, the fairy structure deck played by Taya Gardner versus Warrior Strike, the newer Warrior structure deck with the uh, Gemini monsters played by Joey Wheeler. Anything can happen in this duel. The Surge of Radiance deck has been performing really well. It's kind of a, it's kind of snuck its way up to this uh, part without people remembering it that much. No one's like, oh, Taya's going to take this. Honestly, Taya might take this. Who knows? She might go all the way with her Surge of Radi Radiance uh, structure deck. But today we are going to find out which of these structure decks is the strongest. And right now it's starting to look like uh, Chaz's structure deck might be the strongest. All right, here we go, everybody. It's Joey versus Taya. Joey's worst nightmare. Fairies versus warriors. If this was uh, Pokemon, fairies would be fighting types, so I'm gonna I'd have to give it to Taya. Pokemon knowledge makes me say it. Yeah, he's got uh, Excavator Chevalier. That's a good 1900 beater. He's got Spell Striker into a Tribute Summon for Free the Matchless General, which could have a good effect depending on what you need. All right, Swords is here. Taya's going to buy herself some turns while he just uh, plays uh, that card. God said no! Taya activates God in order to stop that card, and I guess it was worth or not. I don't know. And Jelen Duo uses its effect to summon Guardian Angel Joan, which will easily not destroy anything because Sakuretsu Armor says go to hell. All right, she's lucky to have Swords still, and there we go. She got her card back. Joey Wheeler has put Taya in very low life point range just by spells and trap cards alone. Her own spells and trap cards. But she finally got her monster that can actually do stuff. Guardian Angel Joan is going to go ahead and destroy Freed, which will heal her by 2,300 life points. Jesus Christ. Joey's going to need to find another way back into this duel because right now he is not working with much. All right. And Car Trooper dies, but that actually benefits him in the end. She gets to heal a little bit, but he'll get to draw a card. None of the structure decks obviously have destiny draws, so no. These decks are not mine. I didn't edit them. These are literally the structure decks. And there's 2,800 damage going through, and Joey Wheeler is almost dead. Birthright kicks in to try and save Joey's life points. It will succeed, most likely. But now Joey's got to find a way to take out that annoying... Uh, oh, Hidden Armory can be very good. Magic Jammer, get wrecked, Joey! You tried your best, but my uh, Taya Gardner won't let you. Widespread Ruin, get wrecked, Joey! You're getting... Oh, my God. This duel could not be worse for good old Joey Wheeler. Next turn, he's as good as dead. Next turn, he is as good as dead. It do it's not going to happen for him. I can't see him making the comeback. Oh, Kunai with Chain. That's not going to help him. I mean, it helps. It gives him one turn, but only one. Joey Wheeler is... This is the last turn. Warrior Strike deck. Do you have some... Nope, it's over. It's over. Let's see that final trap. Yeah, it's over, folks. That is going to be it. The winner is Taya Gardner and her Surge of Radiance deck. All right, there we go. Taya Gardner proving to us why she's one of the greats. All right, the number, the top four structure decks are Surge of Radiance, Dragonic Legion, Joey Edition Volume 1, and Machine Gear Troopers. All right. The first duel will be Joey Edition Volume 1 versus Machine Gear Troopers. Let's see which of these decks will go all the way to the finals and which will get the third place breather match. Either way, it should be a fun time. All right, Machine Gear Troopers. I found you. Now I just need Joey. You think the thumb's gonna take it? Okay, DJ Cates, but do you think the dumb's gonna go? Oh, the thumb, sorry, not the dumb. Do you think the thumb's gonna go all the way? Is he gonna win the whole tournament? Is that possible? All right, here we go, everybody. It's time. If it was these top four, I want Joey or Taya to win. I love Chaz, but that deck he's using is way too crazy. I want Joey or Taya to win. I don't care who, as long as one of them win. My prediction, though, is Taya. 
All right, we got Pot of Greed, everybody. Pot of Greed kicks in. We got a set, set, pass. Nothing wrong with that. We're getting very close to finding out which of the structure decks is the strongest. Trap Hole, get rid of that card. Double Summon, just to make sure he gets another one. He's going to summon the Gear Giano, which can get him another monster. And that monster is going to be Gear Gear Arsenal. You couldn't stop it, Joey. You couldn't stop it. At least Sangan gets you a monster. Alright, now we got ourselves Baby Dragon with the Axe of Despair! That baby's carrying that giant axe in its small hands and tears apart the Thumbs Monster. So, Joey Wheeler, come on. You can do this. Set, uh, not too good, but come on, Joey. Get another monster out there. Joey Wheeler summons Rocket Warrior! Bring him back the past! Giant Rat will die, but that doesn't matter. Giant Rat will just summon... Uh, Minefielder Drill, which Rocket Warrior cannot be destroyed by battle on the turn it's attacking. When your opponent attacks you, it's different, but still. That baby's got an axe, and that Rocket Warrior's looking good. Red Gadget is going to try and refill the Thumb's hand, but Joey is fighting for his goddamn life with his original Volume 1 deck. Let's see how it goes. And we got ourselves Baby Dragon number 2. His mom lets him have two. What are you going to do about it? Rocket Warrior gets rid of the Red Gadget. Baby Dragon gets rid of the life points, and Baby Dragon with an axe gets rid of a lot of life points. The Thumb is in a lot of trouble right now. He needs to pull off one of his amazing combos he's done in the other duels. We got Cyclone. It's out of here! It tried, but it's out of here! The winner! Joey's going to the finals! Just like that! My boy with his Volume 1 deck is going to the finals of the Structure Deck Tournament. Alright, 1500 damage. One more attack for game. And that is it, everybody. The Baby Dragons have taken Joey all the way to the finals. And some basic trap holes. <laughs> Joey Wheeler has gone the distance. Now, honestly, for Joey's sake, Taya better not win. Because if Taya wins, Joey's dead. Joey is legitimately dead. The baby beats the thumb. That's correct. Well, I'm going to go ahead and set up the next duel. Will the Dragonic Legion structure deck go all the way with Chaz? Or will it be the Surge of Radiance structure deck from Taya? If this was Pokemon, fairies beat dragons, so technically Taya should win. But this isn't Pokemon, so we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Alright, where is good old Dragonic whatever? It's one of the last structure decks to exist in this game. It came out the same time as that Atlantean deck. Taya's Surge of Radiance deck, here we come. I see that this thing is not loading still after all this time. Come on, you stupid thing. My internet's literally god tier, so you can't be acting like this. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Now we're going to use Taya Surge of Radiance. That's one of the older decks, but still not the oldest. This is still not loading. Come on. I'm not leaving until you load. Come on, people want to watch a duel. You're wasting our time, challenge.com. This is really bad advertising for your website. Alright, your website not working is bad advertising. Well, I guess, I guess, I, I guess I'll just start the duel. I think. Well, hold up. One last try. Oh, it worked. Good. Good. It took forever, but it worked. Alright, let's go ahead and get things started, guys. It's going to be Taya versus Chaz. Dragonic Legion versus Surge of Radiance. This one is going to be a hard duel, but Pokemon knowledge has told me Taya's going to win. It's the only way. Alright, we got a set, set, pass. And Chaz has some... Again, that Summoner Monk, it's been giving him so much power. Throws away the useless Inferno, gets Snipe Hunter, of course. Snipe Hunter's gonna go ahead and pop... Oh, that card's useless to Taya anyway, get rid of it. Without Sanctuary in the Sky, it's just a bad card. And Chaz plays his entire hand. Premature Burial tries to bring back the useless monster, which I have to assume is being Tribute Summoned. It is being Tribute Summon, thank god. And Air Knight Power Shot is amazing. And with that card, it's even better, but there are a lot of traps you have to get through. Honestly, I would have hit Snipe Hunter. That was a really bad play by Taya. I don't think plays get much worse than that. Granted, he only gets one shot to kill the monster, but it's probably going to happen. All right, here we go. Good odds that it's dead, and it lives! Holy shit, Taya's a genius! I just didn't know! I didn't know how smart she was. She's on a different level. A different plane of existence. Not doing piercing damage, kind of stupid. Whatever, we'll live with it. 
2400 direct damage, kind of good. 2400 healing, kind of good. Taya's on another level, going really ham. Terraforming just in case she needs another sanctuary. All right, Chaz, you need to pull off one of your combos like you did when you had 200 life points left. Chaz has decided to lose the duel in seven turns. Unless there's a trap. Joey's dead. If Joey has to fight this, he's dead. Taya's Surge of Radiance deck is going so far. It took out Dragonic Legion, which I honestly thought, like, in my mind, I thought that would win the whole tournament. Holy crap. Jesus Christ. All right, guys. Well, we know who the finals are. It's going to be Taya versus Joey. Surge of Radiance versus Joey. But first, before we get to the finals, why don't we have a nice little breather match? It's going to be Tetsuo the Thumb and Dragonic Legion structure decks going at it to find out which one uh, is the third best structure deck. All right, let's go find it. Uh, Tetsuo the Thumb. He's right here. Uh, let's see here. I thought that duel would be a lot closer. I didn't expect um, Taya to kind of just wreck the opponent. That didn't make sense to me. Like, it should have been closer, the way they both been dueling. But at the end of the day, she's just better. She's just better. But, Chaz, it's okay. You still can try to go for third place. You just got to take out the thumb. Might be a hard opponent, but you can do it. So, let's go ahead and enjoy our third place breather match, everybody. Let's take a breath. Let's enjoy it. Just get to watch two duelists have fun. Taya has never won a tournament, but even if she wins today, it technically isn't her win. It technically is Surge of Radiance's win, the structure deck. So, it's kind of sad. Because that's not one of her decks. That's literally just the structure deck. So, I can't technically say Taya won. Oh, see, this is a much better hand. Monster Gate, look at this. Chaz's hand is way better. And he got Dark Flare Dragon. And there you go. He gets a Blue Eyes, too. Dark Flare Dragon uses its effect to throw away Eclipse Wyvern. Eclipse Wyvern uses its effect to get back Red Eyes. All of this on main phase one of turn one. Holy shit. Who made this deck? Light Pulsar Dragon. Who made this deck and why didn't he do this against Taya? This is the kind of combos you can do on turn one. Ah, oh, Light Pulsar's dead, but that means nothing. Unless he kills Red Eyes, that actually meant nothing. He'll just come right back. Holy crap. Chaz, Kyle, come on. Oh, Kyle. Oh, God damn it. He's going to summon Blue Eyes, and he's going to summon Light Pulsar Dragon. Okay. Chaz is not here to play anymore. He's very upset over his loss to Taya. Chaz was definitely screaming brick in that last duel, because this duel, he is going unbelievably ham. Like, this damage is on another level. The Thumb almost lost. He's going to lose on turn 5. Alright, what is Minefielder Drill going to do? You can't beat any of these. That doesn't win. Metal Morph! Oh, bringing back a blast from the past! That takes out the most important dragon, but it doesn't matter. Your opponent still wins. He still has the big damage. Oh, I guess you do live. Okay. Well, you do live, but if he had summoned a monster, you would have died. I don't know why he didn't summon a monster. Unless he literally... Oh, he had a level 2. How much attack? Okay, he couldn't win. He would have left him with 400 life points. He couldn't win. But this is the end of the duel, guys. I'm sorry. There's no way the Thumb's winning. This is crazy. This deck is actually really good. All right. Yellow Gadget comes through, but what is Yellow Gadget going to do? It's in attack mode. It's ready to die. Blue Eyes is looking at it hungrily. There's an XYZ in this deck. This deck comes with Gear Gagon X. Okay. Starting to make small differences here. It makes no difference, actually. The, the, unless you have a trap card, the duel's over. That, that duel's over. All right. Well, guys, that's going to be it. The winner for the bronze place match, the third strongest structure deck at this time period, is Dragonic Legion. Dragonic Legion is the third strongest. <laughs> but he didn't Digimon survive. No. Bronk did not Digimon survive. Dragonic Legion moves forward. We have made it to the final duel. It's time to find out which is the strongest starter structure deck in our structure deck tournament. Will it be Joey Edition Volume 1? Or will it be Surge of Radiance played by Taya Gardner? This... <laughs> this could go either way, but let's just say it's going to go to Taya. Let's say I believe it's going to go to Taya. Taya has never won a tournament, but I will say this. This is technically not Taya winning. 
This is Surge of Radiance winning. Taya's decks have not won yet. This is not one of Taya's decks. I just needed I needed to borrow her face for this tournament. Same with a lot of characters. Granted, this is a Joey deck. This technically would be a Joey deck. All right. We got $1 on Joey. 500k on Joey. <clears throat> Here we go. The final fight. Will it be Taya Gardner or Joey Wheeler? Let's go. Let's go, Joey. You're my boy. I love Taya. Don't get me wrong. Big fan of Taya. Joey's my boy. He's my number one character in all Yu-Gi-Oh. I love him. So let's see if he could do it. Starting the duel, Taya's going to set set pass. Joey starts with the alligator sword with an equip of Axe of Despair. Now instead of a sword, it's alligator's axe. Negate attack will stop Joey from being able to attack, which is fine. He can do it next turn. Taya Gardner is going to go ahead and terraform to get Sanctuary in the Sky, which is not fine. That card could be very problematic. Alright, especially if she gets Marshmallow on. That's a level 3 monster, so my, ho my hopes are going down. Joey Wheeler is going to attack Shining Angel, which is going to help out uh, Taya Gardner in the end. Taya is getting Nova Summoner because she wants to get Air Knight Parashat. Alright, Taya Gardner is going to summon Laylard. I don't even know what that card does. It can be in attack mode because it doesn't matter thanks to Sanctuary in the Sky. Layard is dead. Joey Wheeler to this day still has not drawn another monster, which is why he's not able to clear Taya's field. Taya gets a double tribute monster. It is her Neo Parshath. That card's weak. The Neo Parshath is the card on the pack. That is the card... On, structure, on the structure deck of the Surge of Radiance, but it's just too damn weak. And because of that, Alligator Sword's gonna kill it. Taya, why even summon it if you don't have an equip spell? Graceful Dice kicks in, that's gonna be 3,000 damage. Joey Wheeler does 3,000 damage in one turn. There was no trap for bait. I don't know why she did it. She summoned the card on the pack, but to no avail. And just like that, 600 damage will go back to Joey. Joey used that Graceful Dice for extra damage, and it did matter. But let's see how much she can do back to him. Alright, as long as she has a fairy, she's fine. She's not losing life points because Joey is really bad at drawing monsters right now. He needs to get another baby dragon. Taya's bricked. Get a baby dragon. Get a baby dragon. No, get a baby dragon. Where is it? You need more monsters. You can't win with just one. Although you might. If she bricks again, you win. Oh my god, please. Heavy storm. Oh, scapegoats, yes. Protect him. Just in case. Just in case, keep Joey safe. And oh wait, he could use Axe of Despair with Scapegoat token. Genius. All right, that's it. He just needs one monster. Oh no, he got Axe of Despair. He did it. That's my boy. That's my freaking boy. Joey Wheeler, the strongest deck is the Joey Volume 1 deck. Not Volume 2. Not Warrior Strike. Not Warrior's Triumph. But Joey Wo Volume 1 is the strongest deck in the Structure Deck Tournament. That is the number one deck out of all the structure decks to exist. All 43 of these decks that existed at this time period. Joey Wheeler, Volume 1, is the strongest. That is it. Uh, if this thing would load. If this thing would load. We have made it to the end of our tournament, everybody. We've had a lot of good duels in this tournament. Sadly, the finals weren't that good, but it's fine. Joey Wheeler will be taking first place with his Volume 1 deck. Surge of Radiance. If you want to go buy that deck, it's apparently worth it. It got second place. And it's so good, an AI could use it. A hundred dollars! What the fuck? Holy shit, Andrew! Thank you so much! You have no idea here! Here, let, let me show you my face, because that is absolutely insane. Like, holy shit. A hundred dollars. Are you serious? Woo! <laughs> my god, that feels so good. Thank you so much, Andrew. I can't believe it. My boy freaking did it. You are a real one, Andrew. You are a real one. Holy crap, a hundred fucking dollars. My god. Again, thank you for the dollar again, Vidal, but Jesus Christ. Casually rich. Yeah, might as well. I'm going to eat good today. I'm going to eat some food. It's going to be a great time. Everything's great. Woo, baby. 
All right, let's go back to the let's go back to the bracket. I thank you, <laughs> thank you. Holy shit, that is amazing. Dragonic Legion is also worth buying apparently because guess what? It got third place. You are a real king, Andrew. Um, this Machine Guru Troopers deck is probably okay. Warrior Strike is a good structure deck. Blaze of Destruction is a good structure deck. Warrior's Triumph is a good structure deck, and Revival of the Great Dragon is a good structure deck. The worst structure deck in the game, though, hundred percent. We're all going to agree on this. I don't care what place it got. The worst structure deck in the game is Machines Revolution. This deck is the worst. Don't you ever buy this. Ever. Never. Even though I like Ancient Gears, this is the worst one. 100%. But that is going to be it for today's tournament. I would like to thank everybody for watching. And of course, I want to thank the people that donated today. Uh, I want to thank good old Andrew for the $100 donation and Vidal for the $2. I do appreciate that. Don't think I don't. But the $100, that, that just broke my world. That's brand new. Like, fuck. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. But either way, that is going to be it. Don't let my friends know. Some, my friends watch my streams. I'm in trouble. They know. They're going to ask me to buy Applebee's. I just know it. Those monsters. They're going to bleed me dry. This Saturday, I will be hosting the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel Representative Tournament. And I hope you all can make it there. Some of our favorite Zexel characters will be there. Like Yasai. Like uh, Dog Chan. And maybe a brand new one. I might have a new character showing up. Maybe even two. See you all then.